Right, everyone, welcome back to you. I'm just going to test my microphone, so beware, there's going to be a scratching noise. Yeah. It says it doesn't automatically pick the right one, so if I do the wrong one, it does the camera bloody mic. That thing's shit. Whereas this one is all right. Better than the camera one. The camera one actually makes a constant bloody buzzing noise. This crap. So yeah, we're just waiting for some people to get on. Don't forget to like the stream if you're watching live or if you're re-watching. Uh, yeah, just talk about anything. You right, Rich? What's your latest bow video today? It was quite good. What's, oh, I commented anyway, didn't I? Yeah. Straightening it out with the um, heat gun. That, that's good. I've never seen that actual full technique like that. You right, Peach? You right, Liam? You right, Ron? Yeah, not bad. When you go out and look at the comment, comment, and he said comment, comment, let me know, Liam, you should be on the stream. When you go off, if when you've if you've seen it, or when you come back, let me know, because I'll have a look tonight. You right, Zed? You right, Jim? How you doing, mate? Yeah, good to see you all on. All the regulars so far. Gradually filling this up with quivers. There's 20 of the bastards now. There's only 14 up there. That's all I could fit. Pete said, just had a little workout. Pete's was almost done. Nice. You have your, is that your dinner then? You always have it that late. That's probably why I get hungry in the evening, because I have my dinner at like half five. And then you're always hungry later. Liam said, we'll do. Totally comes down to the clouds, really. Yeah, but yeah, but, you know, if you let me know, I can go and have a look. You know what I mean? It's been cloudy here. But, um, yeah, obviously, if it's cloudy, it saves me. If you can tell me it's cloudy, it saves me going out looking. Then don't get wasting my time. You're right, Len. Good to see you on. Video base said, nah, just got home at five, but this is just a late one. Oh, no, I know. I just wondered because I know some people do do have like their dinner that late. Um, yeah, I think I have mine way too early, really, but that's just what we do in this house. Right. Dad said, I won't look at comets. Uh, we had to read Day of the Triffids at school, and I've been suspicious of the things ever since. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, it's a foretelling as well, isn't it? Um, for bad times. Len said, love the survival of a nice building. Oh, nice one, Len. Len, thank you, mate. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. I wish I, I do wish I had slightly different bolts, but these was the only things I had at the time. But in all honesty, I think for a survival knife, that's all right, isn't it? Decent sized blade. Um, you got your little ferro rod striker, not needed, but it had that shape anyway, so why not? Um, yeah, pry bar end, you know, that could have been no end of things, but it was going to stick out anyway, so I thought, sod it, might as well make a pry bar end. Um, yeah, and I'll put the stuff in the hollow handle. I'm just waiting for the the lever at the minute. It's the, that, the, the sheath, I've got a very rough picture of it if you want to see it, very rough. It will be something like this. If you, you probably won't be able to see this very well. Oh, no, you can. So there's the pouch. It'll have like a little pocket down the bottom, usual leg tie, ferro rod holder with a little tab to tie it onto. So it'll be something like that. So you've got a pouch and then a little sleeve here with a little bit that shuts. All right, where am I? Ron said, are Glock knives legal in the UK? I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. If they're just standard knives, Ron, yeah. If they're flick knives or something, no. Jim said, um, finishing work early at the moment. Nice short days still. I'm usually quite late to the last one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good to see you on early, Jim, yeah. The Pagan King, you're right, mate? Then said, be interested in seeing the survival kit too. Yes. I, I wish I could get those holes slightly bigger, but I didn't want to risk it for a video because if I fucked it up, that was the only bit of wood I had. But it's multiplex, so I couldn't risk fucking it up by making the hole too big. Otherwise, I would have. But that will get a few things in there. You could get a little ferro rod, some matches, um, fishing kit, sewing kit. You want the smallest stuff you can get, but because you'll have all the other stuff and multiples in there anyway. But it's worth having some in the handle. So if you lost your sheath or something, or you've run out, you've still got some on the knife. Um, Liam said, looks good, not watched the video on it yet. Dad said, it would certainly 
be a bad time if it turned you blind. <laughs> or landed on you, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right, Pagan King. You're right, Bob. Good to you all, mate. Video message, yeah, Glock knives are legal. BB, you're right. Paul Hodgson, you're right, mate. So just watch the first video on that knife. Looks good, mate. A nice one, yeah. Yeah, people seem to be quite liking that. Um, yeah, and making the guard into a signaling mirror, I think, was quite a good idea. Because, you know, you do get signaling mirrors. Um, why not? You know, it's it just makes something that would have no use, really, when it's not on the knife sort of thing, in, into another... Because you can just use a knife. You look up at the sun and you can reflect the... You know, you can see it on my face there, but it'd be the other way around. I'd be direct. But, you know, why not? I didn't. I was going to try and make like a Rambo style. Um, oh, you can't see it. You know, the Rambo knives has a screwdriver. I could have sort of done that, but not with brass. It's too soft and I didn't have the right metal. But I think that's good enough. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. And it looks all right, don't it? It's a, it's a decent... You know, that is a decent size... Um, Survival knife, really, isn't it? Bushcraft survival knife. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the bloody leather now. So I was looking forward to doing that sheaf the same day, and the leather ain't turned up. Yeah, what the blade, the blade or the thing, I did put the writing on it, but yes, good idea. Get it etched, yeah. Video based said all the people who try and buy my cookery are from. Uh, the UA or India. That's strange, isn't it? Are you still trying to sell that? Yeah, that's strange that they're coming from there. Maybe it got shared in, um, I don't know. Maybe it got shared in that kind of area. BB said, this knife is excellent for making salad. Fucking should be. US, sorry. I was going to say UA. I was trying to think what that would be. United, United, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Emirates, isn't it? Yeah. United Arab Emirates. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I am overall happy with that. I'm starting to. I think the you won't be able to see this on here, but this fucking varnish. I think it's gone bad. It's really thick now, um, where I haven't where the, the the lid's broken, so it doesn't go on the wood very well now. But it, you know, it's all right. Sold the skin edge, right, mate? Good to see you on. He can't stay long. He says that every time. But no, cheers for saying hello. Oh, US. Yeah, it's weird, don't it, um, Peach? Do you not want to send them over there? I know it's a lot of money. BB says, sorry, this knife is excellent for make me salad. Len said, need to do a field test with a new knife. I will do. Once it's all, once I've done all the um, sheaf, I'll... um. And next time I go down the woods, I'll take that as my EDC. I'll replace it. Because actually, this would be better than my current EDC anyway. Um, yeah. This would have more things on it than my um, EDC. My EDC knife for the woods, which is just a little... It's another little survival knife. that has a fair rod in the handle. But it's, you know, that's got more on it. Soul said, really can't this time. I'm on Leon's internet. That's all right, mate. Cheers for coming and saying hello, though. I appreciate it. Tactical slivers in and whispers. You're still banned from the Wendy house. <laughs> oh, barred. Yeah, barred from the Wendy house. I'm never barred. Good to see you on, mate. All right, Bristol. How you doing, mate? I hope everyone's liking the streams. 14 of you on, 11 likes. I never got a chance to do the, um, you know, Matt and Stacey was asking me to do the, um, I said I was going to read out the statements to that, uh, when I nicked the road roller type thing, it was a road roller, it's easier to call it a steam roller, but it's a road roller, um, I didn't get a chance to do it though, because I had a lot of shit on today that I didn't expect to do, so we'll have to leave that till next week. That too cool said, um, did you get my message about those other bolts? Yes, I did. Sorry, I bloody yeah. I have a habit of reading them in the night and then but yes I did and I bookmarked it as well. Um that cool. Yeah, those ones would be perfect. Yeah, not bad price, it's slightly dearer than the others. 
but that's still a cheap price for the amount of bulks, and they would be perfect. It's just it's always a risk. You know, I've said this hundred times, and you know. Um, but yeah, it's always a risk getting them unless you can definitely see the tips unscrew. And them ones do, but the other ones wasn't sure, was we? But that was a good idea. What you said about me buying them, and then if I didn't want them, you'd buy them off me. BB said, "What's your favourite boxing champion?" Oh, I don't know. Probably Tyson Fury. Jeevan, you're right, mate. Liam said, "Whoever said Gavis gone was right." Took some antacid, and my chest is back to normal. Weird as I'm not anything spicy. So that's strange, isn't it, Liam? But I'm glad that helped. Yeah, mine's still not gone. I'm not sure what mine is now, though. Because I appear to have no acid reflux at all now. And I'm still getting a really phlegmy throat in the mornings that I have to cough up a little bit of phlegm that looks like um, wallpaper paste. So there's no infection or nothing. It's, I, I don't know what mine is, but weird. I've had it about three weeks now. But it wears off in the day sometimes. It's probably just this bloody room and dust. But yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you sorted that. Dad said, I found this the other day. Strange, I rather like it. Right, let's have a look, Dad. Yeah, you can share links now. Oh, that's took me that's took me to the wrong place for some reason, Dad. Let me see if I can take off a bit of that link. Right, if you click on that link... Yeah, that's weird. When I click on that link, it goes wrong. But if you get rid of the... When it goes to it, get rid of the bit that says Studio Dot, and it goes... Oh, is that a medieval-style parody of Black Sar Sabbath Paranoid? Oh. I've clicked on it now, so later on that will be in my um, watch list. So I'll find it again. Says so I can't use Gaviscon. Taste makes me vomit. Yeah, that'd just be making it worse, wouldn't it? <clears throat> BB said I never eat my vomit. Good for you, Architect. I'm savage, right, mate? Liam said, you know, I use Tums, basically little pastel things. Sol said, found another abandoned place the other day. A nice one. What was it? Because, yeah, them places are always decent to um, explore. And these, they're interesting if you do videos. I, I watch them ones. You even said you need to sleep with a window open. I think I do. I think you're right, Jeevan. I think it probably is something like that. And funnily enough, the last couple of days, my throat hasn't been so bad because one of the windows has been open. The only problem is if I have the window open, I get fucking woke up every morning because of fucking um, birds and all, all matter of shit. But, yeah. Luckily, because I've been virtually deaf in one ear, though, I can always just turn the other way, face the wall, can't hear nothing, and it's dark. Zed said, that's it. All right, I'll check that out later, Zed. Ron said, he's got an upset stomach that goes on for a while. Um... On for a while, slightly burn a piece of toast every morning. So easy. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Timbo, you're right, mate. After text home, what's the what's what's on the top of the couch? Looks like something Rob Halford wore. <laughs> Can't see it. It's my quivers. Glad someone asked. They're deliberately put there so people ask what they are. My crossbow quivers. I may have to do that, Jeevan. You know, save up for um, air purifier because you can get them quite cheap, can't you? Ted said, maybe you need to drink more. Well, that's the one thing I do do. I do drink a lot of um, water, at least. Yeah, you're right, actually, architect. I mean, they do look um, the things on your arms. Yeah, they sort of do look like that. They're that kind of shape, aren't they? Yeah. No, but I get you. They do look like... Yeah, I lined them all like they're deliberately. So people say, what's that? And then I can advertise my quivers. £12.50 each. Ships worldwide. <laughs> Tax said, blimey, those quivers must uh, be part rabbit. <laughs> Loads more than laugh. Yes, that was, well, that's not even all of them. I couldn't even fit them all on there. I've got 20 of the bastards now. No way to sell them. Now, I'm going to... Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my get the money sent to someone else temporarily till I get my driving license back which at this rate, I don't know, it might be fucking 2021 by the time I get that fucking thing back Dad said I still think they look all, they look like evil rabbits lined up like, I know what you mean though, they do, yeah Pumpkin King he said hello from North Georgia good to see you on hello from Southern England Jim said, nice one, Mike. You got a good bit of stock with it. Yes, exactly, Jim. What I might do is um, 
a bloke called XDM50, Dwayne Myers. He's got a um, he's got his own eBay store set up. And he asked me, I've known Dwayne for like all of my YouTube time, you know, like 10 years. Um, and he sold stuff for me before, but not in an eBay store. He didn't have the eBay store then. But he's he wanted some stuff off me and he was going to give me the money in advance. But I said, no, don't give me it in advance because I feel a bit pressured then. You know what I mean? Um, and it turns out I couldn't do the stuff for nearly a year anyway. So that's why I didn't want the money. But yeah. I could probably send him 10 of these and he'll, he could sell them on the old US eBay and if they get popular, he might have them regular then. Tim, you right, mate? JBO said, evening all hours, everyone. You right, Jim? Good to see you on. Did you see the new... Uh, I can't remember if you saw it today. The newest build today, the survival knife. Trying to catch the light so it looks better. There you go. That's quite a good bit of light there. But I couldn't remember if you commented on that one, Jim, or not. Actually, I was going to... Uh, was it you, Jim? Someone had to tell someone something. No, it might not have been. It's all right. If I remember, I'll... Um, yeah. But I'm good, Jim. Ron said, I'm starting to think you're a part-time Robin Hood. for your archery equipment. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Hey, Rob's from the written give to the poor. That, that's the difficult bit. <laughs> Uh, Matt said, Mike, evening, we're both on again tonight We'll try to be good Matt, I don't know if you heard me I, I didn't have time to do the um, stuff for the story About the road roller thing, the steamroller So I'm going to save that for next week now if, if you're up for it I didn't have time today I had a really weird day today I unexpectedly had to um, babysit My niece and nephew And I also had to sort a load of my dad's stuff out so now I've got, well, they're not, I've got them in my room. They're not officially mine, but I've now got three more bits of body armor, including his really expensive one. And he bought, when I bought my 500 quid one, he bought one as well. Custom fit ones. But um, yeah, so I've been sorting all that kind of stuff out. But I'll definitely do that next week. Right, Stacey, did you hear what I was saying then? We'll have to postpone the um, the full uh, road roller story. Where am I? Tactical Mike, you get. I was uh, saving that video for later. Now I know what it's turned out like. Oh, yeah, you definitely would have seen it. <laughs> I would have shown it multiple times tonight. That would have been sport at least 100 times. BB said, your experience, can you estimate the price of this knife? What knife? My knife? I don't know. With the sheath, I don't know at the minute. But if you're trying to buy a knife like that, I don't know. 40 quid probably, I'd say. With the sheath, probably 60 quid, because the sheath would be a good, um, yeah, Yeah, I had so much on today, Stacey, and I unexpectedly had to look after a six-year-old or four-year-old. <laughs> well, I found out last night for half the day. That was all right. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> yeah. All right, Liam said, um, does his one fit you? Either? That does fit me better. It's slightly smaller. Yeah. This is the best one, though. This, well, not the best one, but the, like, the weirdest one. Look at this. Don't look that small, but this thing's tiny. Look at that. Absolutely, I don't know if that's a kid's body armour or not. Because obviously, if you look at this, look how this one comes down to, you know, like just just a couple of inches over the top of my um, yeah, like my trousers are there. This one, look at it. It's like. Eight bloody inches. Tiny little thing. Matt said, let's hear the other memories later, like the armour. Right, now, Yeah, no, glad you liked it, mate. Yeah, I'll finish that off with a nice leather sheath soon. Thought I'd do something different. People might be getting bored of the old Bowie knives. So she's had that body armour looks good. You should put it on Zombat. Uh, I think it's a bit too good for Zombat. 
Zombat has got some proper body armor, but it's not in a proper carrier. But he has actually got real body armor. It's just he's got a homemade plate, you know, uh, panel carrier. Yeah, or Warwick Davis. Weird, isn't it? Though tiny, tiny body armor that is. Got that when we was on holiday once down the seaside, and he went in some um, surplus store and just said, "You got any body armor?" I think they may have had it hanging up, and they said. I think they sold him like fucking. I don't know if it's thirty quid each or fifteen quid each, but it was hardly anything. The six, even sixty quid for them too, nothing. <clears throat> I'm sure the other stories will come out tonight. They always do. Matt Sol said went to abandoned warehouse and made a video, but there's a few vids on my phone. All right, that sounds good. That sounds good. Matt said we know. Um, how looking after kids can be. My my son just broke a glass table. A little out of flame glass. How for that sake? Yeah, and I got whacked with a sword, a, a plastic sword earlier when I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Axe, you're right, mate. He said, um, "God, the line from Tommy Boy is coming to mind." What that? <laughs> BB said, um, why we don't see the vest for face and neck and back? Who knows? Too, just too, maybe too restricting face. I don't know. Well, I do know. But... <laughs> Liam said, yeah, it's like an onion bag thing. That's exactly... I'll tell you what it is. It's a bag for life. It's a Tesco bag for life. But I modified into, like like you said, like an apron type thing. Just a, a front cover. But, yeah, that's inside it, it is real body armor, though. Um, Bill Al, you're right, mate. You said thoughts on carrying a sharp straw as an improvised stabbing weapon. Um, yeah, that's probably as good as like a tactical pen, I suppose. You don't ever want to say it's for anything like that, but yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, Jim said it's a shame I use 16 inch bolts or I'd buy a quiver. Could you not one up for a Jaguar? Uh, just because they look much cooler than the standards. You know what, Jim? I probably could. I'll look into it one day. The only reason I've never bothered is purely because of um, because they do them. But then I must admit, the ones they do, they're not all that good, really. Um, I probably could. I'll look into it, Jim. See if it's worth. See if it's economical for the price of the Kydex and that, and I'll see. Because yeah, the best thing with these ever was. Um, at the time, no one done them. And even now, there's only one other person that does them. And he's ain't universal. So, But they're good. I do I, I do think the other ones are pretty good. But um, obviously, I'll more than say mine. <clears throat> Liam said, I guess vampire carry tactical straws for stab and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And Pete said it after you. It's a vampire weapon, the straw. Oh, I get you now. Sorry, that went completely over my head. Stacy said, would it be illegal to make and keep at home honeycomb out of hairbrush in your house? Technically, yes. Yeah, the problem is, Stacy, when they changed the new... Well, not when they changed the new... When they changed the old laws, they... They, what they did, they made those things illegal to even own in your home. So, yeah. The only thing is, I've seen someone today putting something on um, a video that I've told them they've got to email me because they're showing something illegal in the video. But I can't say it on the video because other people will then know. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I'm desperately waiting for this person to email me so I can say, take that video down because you might get nicked. But yeah, no, technically, yeah, that's that would be a stealth knife, Stacey, and then illegal in your home. Takes the piss, doesn't it? But, but, one thing I would say, if you've never, if you would never, ever happen to have the police around your house, you'd probably be all right, because they're never, ever going to know, are they? Um, I can't risk a lot of that kind of stuff, because they do, do come here. 
Um, JBO said he'll be doing a video tomorrow. Hopefully, Mike picked up a couple of BB guns there. Oh, nice one. By the way, Jim, did I say I got your video for the um, uh, 10 pound weapon bill? But I haven't downloaded it yet, so don't get rid of it. Things up, Warrior. You right, mate? Guess what I watched? Guess what I watched that you recommended me? SOS Power said, I watched your video. That knife is brilliant. How much do you think it would cost you overall? Um, well, thank you, Sam, first. Um, do you know what? Not a bloody lot, in all honesty. I think that was $10, $10 with about $10 posted. So what's that? About 15 quid. The wood was free. The bolts was free. When I do the sheath... Only, you know, at most, probably 25 quid. At most. That's with the leather sheath as well and all the bits. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Glad you liked it. Um, where am I? Tap the part. I was watching some magnet fishing last night. Go, guy pulled up um, a brass knuckle and a pistol. Nice. Slingshot's not getting back to me. Slingshot, guess what I watched? Stacey said, between Matt and my son, I can't be sure the police wouldn't be around my ass. Well, that's the thing. That's why it's, well, also, it is another thing. If you've not got a lot of stuff you want to risk having took off you, <laughs> slightly different story. I can't afford to have anything illegal here because they would end up taking every bit of this and then I'd be losing thousands and thousands of pounds. And then to get them back, you have to go to court and you and they won't give you legal aid for it. So, yeah. SRS, did, uh, he said, did you email Scalagrim? I would love to see him review some of your knives. Not yet, not yet, but thank you. Keep reminding me. Well, that definitely will happen because I genuinely think that is an excellent idea, Sam. Yeah, that was really, I thought that was a, a very, very good idea. <clears throat> Slingshot said, Have you seen my recent, recent video much? I don't think I have slingshots. I will check them out later. Did you get my question? I just asked you. Guess what videos I watched that you recommended me? Dead to love God, and there could be trouble ahead. Wow. Ax said, have you had a chance to try that one knife that injects CO2? No, I know what you're on about, though. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but I do know what you're on about. You stab it in, press the thing, it, sort of, it, it can sort of explode like a melon, can't it? Um, no, I, in all honesty, I don't even know if that would be legal over here. It, it might be, though, because you'll be surprised what isn't. It, there's a lot of weird stuff that's not on the list. I know, Slingshot. You can still answer my question, though. You recommended a series of videos to me. I watched them. Now you tell me what they were. Oh, I'm not going to talk about it. Stug said they're called Wasp Knife. Nice one. Yeah, or Sharp Knife. Oh, by the way, Slingshot, I hope you're having a good vacation. He's ignored my comments three times now. My, my question. Jamie said a bloody good evening, Mr. Wife Rector. Nice one, mate. How are you? So, yeah, next week, I'm going out tomorrow. When I say going out, I'll be going out in the Wendy house pretty much. Um, next week, I'll do the thing I said, though. I'll get the actual statements out for that um, road roller thing and some of the other stuff charge forms and all that and I'll either read them or I can show you them saying sure I watched every single video on that um, pixie bloke Liam said I bet it was my upcoming video illegal for me to have an eye on change I want <laughs> whoever it is I can't say I actually cannot say who it is <laughs> But yeah, someone showed something illegal, and I've I've had to message them if if this is what we're on about still. Yeah, but I couldn't I couldn't say what it was on the video because it's people might not know it's illegal if that makes sense. So he'll get away with it unless someone knows. But I can't say any. I could probably tell you some of you privately. You right, John. Good to see you on, mate. How's life treating you? 
No, you're all right, tactical. <laughs> no, it's not tactical, it's not leaving it in peach. In fact, it's in fact, if you want me to say it's no one in this stream so far. No, there's no one in the stream. Don't forget to get your merchandise in. Um, Dad said, I watched the one you said about. Sorry, but it's a puppet. You can see the strings gleaming the light when it moves. He's not, he's not. Oh, he, he did reply. Saying, so now I remember having fun. Makes you forget. Did you enjoy them? Yeah, it was a good set of videos. It's a good set of videos. Mate, who does the videos is very good. You're right, Nate. And said, that moist. I said, do you collect blank guns at all? I used to. I used to have a blank Desert Eagle, a Beretta. Two revolvers, um, PPK, a Glock. Yeah, I sold them all. James and Mike, do you watch wrestling? Because if you wore glasses, you look like Bob Ray Dudley. I went to a fancy dress party dressed as Bob Ray Dudley once. <laughs> yes, I know exactly who Bob Ray Dudley is. Yeah, yeah. My brother still watches the old wrestling. One of my younger brothers, he loves it. You know, he knows it's not real and all that. It's just, you know, it's just entertainment. But I, I sometimes sit in my front room and watch it with him a bit. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I went to a fancy dress party dressed as Bob Ray Dudley once. Yeah, because that's all I need. The glasses, isn't it? Yeah, nice one. John said, I think I need to send you a carbon steel Bowie at some point. Well, I said, John. I'm up for that, John. We'll have to look into the prices. I have found some good prices on e um, Amazon.com lately, though. I hope everyone's um, liking the stream. <laughs> Ron said, oh, no, he said it's not real. Well, I don't want people thinking I think it's real. <laughs> That's why they started calling it sports entertainment. <laughs> or do you mean because there's going to be people arguing now? Dad said, I used to get called Tank Abbott. <laughs> Don't look like his dad. Nice. I know who Tank Abbott is as well. Nice one. So the PPK is a nice pistol. Looks similar to the Makarov. Yes. Yeah, I used to like that old PPK. I have, I suspected it had been used in something dodgy, though, when I bought it. I bought it off someone who said they bought it off someone, and that someone was definitely dodgy. Um, yeah. But. I ain't got it now anyway. I never had any evidence it was. It's just the person who used to have it. It would be the type of person who would. Rob said, do you remember the old Gat Gun in the UK? You never see them around now. You're right, Rob. Yeah, I remember the old Gat Guns, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame you don't get them now. Um, yeah, sorry, Ron. I spot the whole WWE for you. Um... Yeah, the old cat guns. I wouldn't mind a cat gun. You might be able to find, I don't know. But yeah, you're right. You don't see them in shops, though, do you, Rob? Dad said, Rob, I, I, I think I still have one somewhere. Can't remember where, though. Yeah, the good old cat guns. And my mate used to have a, a very, I don't know how rare they were, but I'd only ever seen one of them. He had a great big 2 2 gat gun. Yeah, most of them was little 177 ones. He had a great big fucking 2 2 um, gat gun. John said, Wish this. Place in Atlanta still sold the old cookeries at Lack Candles. Stacey, so what are you drinking tonight? Just coffee and water tonight, Stacey. Um, I'm going to be on the vodka tomorrow. Yeah. So I won't be on tomorrow, sadly. Not at all. I won't even be able to do an hour. Unless I come in and do a four, four in the clock stream. To be honest, I wouldn't even be able to start the stream at that time, not the time at night. Singshot said, I did a series of my adventures in South Carolina. My, my cousin is good at editing. All right, I'll watch that later, Slingshot. I was unaware that you were putting videos on at the minute. Oh, Zed, that, thank you. That Yeah, that's, that's very generous of you. Thank you, Zed. You don't have to, but it would go to a good home at least. <laughs> thank you, Zed. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a gat gun up somewhere, just to, you know, just for the sake of it, isn't it? Liam said the lighthouse was fucking excellent. Watch that on your um your own Mike's recommendation. Yes. And it good. Yeah, so you got to see the um put your fingers in your ears for ten seconds when when I say now, but not now. Anyone who doesn't want to hear a spoiler for the lighthouse. So put your fingers in your ears now. 
You saw the uh, mermaid vagina then, Leo. They're not right about it, though. <laughs> Matt says she's on the gin, Mike. <laughs> so it's a beating for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's sake. James and I went to see the SummerSlam when it was at Wembley Arena. I met Hogan, Warrior, Bulldog, Taker, Lisa the Doom. Oh, uh, that sounds amazing, actually. Yeah, uh, that'd be a great memory as a kid. Tim said, Gat Guns go for up to 50 quid now. Nate said, We love a good um, drunk steer. Buster the Pheasant, you're right, mate? Or oh, Pheasant, sorry. Lamb Mayo. Don't say that's assuming I can find it, of course. BB said, Be aware if you have. K47, maybe Vladimir Putin's inside. Uh, Nin Hustag said, how many crossbows do you have? More than 10, I think, if you count my homemade ones. Nettle said, uh, Gat Guns were £6.50 in 1978, and the Milbro G10 Tenner. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, what a price. That's from a packet of fags now, isn't it? Um, cigarettes for the Americans. Liam said, yeah, I thought saying that. <laughs> Uh, that Robert Patterson looks good with moustache. He does actually, yes, he does. Both of the actors in there, Willem Dafoe and Robert Patterson, did look like they could have came straight from that place. You know, like some actors, they don't, no matter what they do, they don't look right. Willem Dafoe always does anyway. But yeah, Robert Patterson, he looked really good, didn't he? He, he did look like he genuinely could have been, you know, an old lighthouse keeper from what era that would be, because it never actually says, does it? I don't think. Stuff said, Stug said, I should have covered my ears. Liam said, way better than when he looked as a pretty boy. Twilight. Exactly. Yeah, it suits it. Suits him, don't it? Slingshot said, you should get mod Canon models, Mike. I'll look into that. Pete said, name of the film, Mike, for research. I got to see the uh, thing, The Lighthouse. And it's a black and white film with Robert Pattinson and um, Willem Dafoe. That's the one I mentioned last night, Pete, but I didn't want to mention the um, them bits. Yes. The Lighthouse. James said, Mike, have you seen a film with Hobo with a shotgun? Could imagine you doing that. Yeah, I've seen Hobo with a shotgun. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Set around 1890. I, I was going to say, I knew it was of an era, but I don't think it ever actually said the actual time. Did it? It may have. I may have missed it. But yeah, you could tell it was that kind of era. Matt said, Mike, I bought one of those cheap butane weed burners. Lots of fun. Maybe there's a way to mod it, like a mini flamethrower. Is it the one that have like a can, a sort of flexible bit, and then a big, long metal bit, and halfway down to a lighter? As if it's one of them. We've got one of them. Yeah, I've got one of them. Weapons I've said, think the logbook and a few things have roughed it. Ah, nice, yeah. I thought it probably would. Matt said, have you seen the film... Uh, cold skin based at the light. No, I haven't, Matt. What's that one? Let me have a quick look. If it, no, no, I definitely haven't seen that one. Oh, that looks interesting. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's one of them. Yeah, we've got one of them. You probably could. With Malcolm, I've never seen it working, but Malcolm has said to me before. Um, let's call it. Um, yeah, we've got flamethrower in the shed. Oh, that has cold skin, also has fish vagina in it. Ah, <laughs> well, we're not into no fetishes here, by the way. Anyone watching this, it's just, um, you know, you don't often get to see these things. Fuck's sake, very love crafty and nice. That sounds good. I might, I might look that actually. Liam, could you just send me a message saying get, get cold skin? I'll get that. Stock says, watched a few episodes of Ash vs. Evil Air. Oh, now that is excellent. Yeah. Are you enjoying that? Jamie said, my wife still enjoys sex at 67. Forks it for me. We live at 62. Nice one. Actually, I could run down to the tractor supply and build one from Torch Parts. Nice. Maybe said, what's your next weapon you'll be adding to your collection? Do you know what, mate? I don't know. I've not got anything planned to buy. Maybe very possibly uh, one of those R9 crossbows, is it? But I don't know because my Patreon's fallen down really low at the minute and it'll take me like maybe a year to save up now. Um, I lost nearly half, not half. I lost, I lost about a quarter of the money recently because of people leaving. Don't matter. I just need to sort of talk to people about it again. But um, yeah, 
nothing planned apart from the stuff I make. So I'll be definitely buying more blades. I want to make a Gladius. Um, yeah, so there'll be loads of this stuff coming. You know, I, I quite enjoy making knives. Or modding blanks, anyway. You know what I mean? I don't know if people class that as, you know. Liam, so both are quite similar films. Uh, Stir crazy, old lighthouse keepers. Nice. Tax would never get a BJ from a mermaid, as fish have teeth in their throats. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. I appreciate that. Yeah, that just reminds me to get it later. You know what I'm like. Jamie said, hey there. It's the last days for Pack Sabbath. It really, or is that Black Sabbath? But the Lollipop Boys have already uh, had Black Lion Pie. And they're happy. <laughs> they've become good friends. Most of that makes no sense to me, Jake, but I appreciate the, um, the comment. Rob said, what's the best way to support the channel now? Um, I don't know, Rob. Mate, uh, Patreon, probably. That's the most reliable thing for me. But that's a regular thing. So even if like a couple of you went on there and, and joined for one dollar, it's eighty p yeah eighty p a month. So if if a few of you did eighty pence a month, that's all you pay eighty p a month. That all adds up. Um, yeah, massively helps because that does. If it wasn't for like this, I only got this because I had um, Amazon credit from people using my ads. Um, Patreon's the most reliable one and a good chunk at a time. But yeah, the eBay links, Amazon links are all still good. They all still work. Everything still works and still can be done. Um, yeah. Patreon's the most reliable one. Liam said, came out before the lighthouse. Out of the two, I like lighthouse more. Both are good films, not mainstream at all. Yeah, there's some quite good sort of mad bits in the lighthouse, isn't there? But I'll definitely check out the other one. Oh, yeah, you look going. There's like a chat full of Nightbot now. <laughs> but I appreciate it. But yes, there's a link there. Look, see Nightbot support weapon collector on Patreon for one dollar or eighty p a month. If you do do that, that massively helps. And yes, yeah, only um, it's only eighty p a month. You, you can donate more if you want, but um, but genuinely does buy things for the channel. I don't spend it on myself. You know, well, that does come to me afterwards. Do you know what I mean? But everything the Patreon money goes to goes towards a video. Think so he's back. Jamie said, Mike, I need your advice. Can you ask away, mate? Ask away. I might be out well, yeah, who knows. Saying about that other body armor, I'll have to measure my dad's one, um, see what the size difference was. But when I got that, yeah, he was definitely smaller than me. So that one should fit me better. Um, yeah, mine's not massively too big, especially now I put a bit of weight on. It was too big when I got down to like just under 14 stone. You know, I'd, I'd lost nearly three stone at that point. So, you know what I mean? But I, I've put a bloody stone and a half back on now. So I'm getting closer to back to where I was. So mine probably fits me a bit better now. But yeah, I might measure that just to see the difference. Because I was custom fit. You had to send your, you know, you had to measure yourself from here to your top of your trousers, do your chest, your waist, say whether you wanted it to be cut so you could sit down because obviously if they're not made to sit down they ride up <laughs> could be Liam yeah <laughs> he said maybe they're small vessels for <laughs> child soldiers might be able to set on eBay <laughs> That's right. it's weird though isn't it I've never seen a vest that small a sparrow you right, mate good to see you on <laughs> suits you sir suits you Oh, got this out today, Tactical.
Oh, thank you, Stacey. That genuinely massively means a lot to me. I really appreciate that. Yeah, because that, that genuinely does make a difference. I lost about $20 on it recently. It was up to $65, which was about 50 quid a month. And that, that really was helping me. You know, it all helps anyway. But oh, thank you, Stacey. That genuinely does mean a lot. Especially when it's like 80p a month. That's like nothing, isn't it? If I could get enough people to do that. Yeah, it. you never feel it out your pocket, but it does add up. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, Stacey. Um, yeah, that's the scanner, the um, home scanner that we, my mum used to listen to the uh, police on years ago. We used to have a portable one. And <clears throat> I think you're right now. It probably is for a woman, in all honesty, because a very slim woman, yeah, that would. And saying that, you've just made me think of something. I, I noticed on this. Yeah, you've, now you've just said that, I noticed something on this. It seems to stick out slightly in the chest bit there. When I picked this up, I noticed it. I thought, why does that bulge there? That does. It doesn't sit flat. It sort of bulges out. You're probably right. It's a, it's a slim woman's. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I got distracted halfway through. Jim said to Liam, flog it to Sergeant Pollock naked. In Uganda. Um, yeah, I fucking know, I forgot what I was saying now. But yeah. But the Patreon, yeah. Um, anyone who does support me on Patreon does massive oh this, that's what I was saying. The bloody um the scanner. About 98, 99, when we had um finally got mobile phones, you know, normal people get mobile phones. I'd be up the you know, up the village getting drunk and um my mum used to get so fed up with us getting nicked all the time. She would actually listen on a scanner all night long to the police. And then uh, if she heard the police coming up our area, she'd ring me up and, um, yeah, tell us to move on. <coughs> That's a nice one. If you need info on your local area, PM me. Just need your county. Oh, what this? Tactical. Yeah, nice one, mate. All right. Yeah. I don't. I think I might need a different aerial. Do you reckon that would still work if you put it on your house, Ariel? <laughs> nah, please, I, 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 you're the only one with the real doll around it. He said, should fit your real doll well, Mike. <laughs> Plus, they're too expensive to shoot with crossbow. Uh, Matt said, that vest is for Ouija and Cranky. <laughs> Protect what you love. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Scotland's PM. Thanks for no, but they're cheaper chips now. Though. Yeah, I have got a, like an external aerial, but it's only a little one. Um, all, all I picked up today was a couple of um, taxi firms. That's all I picked up today. But I only went through the the whole lot, all of the, you know, just scanned through the whole lot twice with the aerial on it and then the this sort of external aerial. Um but yeah, I've got a little book of all this. I've got, I had a book from years ago. But I wrote it all down. I wrote in here. Let's see, none of them exist now. They're in, in here. Just for my own memory, I had everything written down local. You know, I had fire and ambulance, taxi, aircraft and maintenance, P. I don't know what that was. Oh, police. <laughs> Amateur radio and unknown and others. I had it all written down, all of it, but none of them didn't work now. It may have been the aerial. <laughs> That's an interesting that Mike knows the price of those dolls. I certainly couldn't afford one, put it that way, even if I do know the price, which I don't. <laughs> Jim says, Sergeant Bulk Naked is a real guy who runs... Oh, is it really? Real child arm. It's a crazy story. At least I think that's his name. Could be caught for butt naked. Now, now you say that, yes, that does seem to ring a bell. James said, Mike, Mike, have you seen the videos on YouTube about Dragon Man? What do you think of his collection? Uh, I think I know who you're on about. The, the American bloke who owns the gun shop. Is that him? Um, yes. I'll tell you what I liked about him. He looks like, now no offense to any of our American friends, at first glance, you think he's going to be one of these 
massively over the top gung ho Americans. That can sometimes slightly put me off watching videos of people like that because it's a bit too over the top for me. Us, us conservative, uh, not conservative politically, but um, you know, Englishmen. Um, you know what I mean? Down, I don't know how to put it. You know what I mean? The over the topness can be a bit much. He's not at all. He's not over the top in the slightest, is he? And you can tell he knows every fucking thing he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, very interesting bloke. And you tell he knows. Not over the top. He's not gung ho. He's just, yeah, really interesting. But you you can tell he knows every fucking bit of info he's saying. <laughs> General butt naked. Fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking matters. But yeah, when I say conservative, I don't mean politically. I mean the um, dictionary definition of conservative. Although saying that, just put that in, that comes up as, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I even mean that. But you know what I mean, anyway. Tax had most gone dizzy now, but stuff still to listen to. Um, James said, do you still have your Uzi? Reserve, that's it, Stacey, that's what I meant. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that's exactly what I meant, reserve. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a shame they've gone, did you? I knew that was the police and that, and I suppose most people probably have nowadays, don't they? James said, do you still have your Uzi? No, that would be up there if I did, definitely. Now I sold that, or well, I got really skint one year. I can't remember what I needed it for, but I had to sell them. I wouldn't sell my guns unless I really had to. Matt said, do you have a favourite Beavers and Buttheads? Oh, I don't know. No, I really like um, Beavers and Butthead, though. Um, thank you, Tactical. I can't think off the top of my head. I've got the film up there. Oh, nice one, Tactical, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll show you what I've got in a minute. Yeah, sold the brand gun as well. This is the one I've got. This is what I had it on, um, Tactical. That's the one I, was at. I had it on. It wasn't picking up a lot. Got Darth Dave. Yeah, sold the Bren gun. Funniest thing about that Bren gun, when I sold that Bren gun, I asked mate, he just out of curiosity, what he was buying it for. And he said he was buying it for his kids to play with. Yeah. Poor lucky bloody kids. Yeah, I love that old Bren gun. It, uh, the only things, though, it was a lot of money just sitting there doing nothing. And the fucking thing was massive. So I never had anywhere to put it. It was always in the way. But yeah, Matt, I couldn't... I would have had to watch them recently to say a sketch from Beavis and Butters. I never bloody picture any in my head. Tactical said, that should work, mate. Thought you meant outside... Oh, no, I did... What I meant was, if I changed that wire and connected it up to my area, would that work, though? Yeah. Um... No, that was just, I was curious to, is it really, Ron? Bloody hell. Let me just have a look. <laughs> Bloody hell. Thank you, whoever, whoever that is. Well, thank you for letting me know, Ron. Um, bloody hell. Yeah, well, that genuinely makes a massive difference to um, my videos, you are contributing to make videos better for everyone. So thank you, whoever, whoever has um, joined. I appreciate it. Well, if I'd have known, Jamie, I would have sold it. This was a couple of years ago now. Um, Liam said my granddad was talking about the Bren last Sunday. Said the only complaint was it was too accurate. Nice. You know, they're supposed to be very good guns, aren't they? So I said, can you talk back on the scanner? Like divert tax. No, no, it's one way. I can only listen. Um, 
Where am I? Get put off with the amount of stuff my Patreon's gone up to. Thank you, everyone. Liam said, I uh, asked him how that was an issue. And he said, as you had to aim directly at enemy soldiers, not their general area. Oh, yes. Oh, I get you now. Yeah. So instead of like, yeah, just aim near them and you chance hit them. Yeah. The brand gun, if you, yeah, you'd have to be straight on them or you wouldn't hit them. Yeah, I get you. So he said, my favorite people from Butthead sketches are beard boys. Where they cut their hair and glue it to their faces so they can score with the chicks and ZZ top. Nice. Now, I must admit, I do love a bit of beans from that head. Darth said you can get UHF VHF Discorn antenna. Nice. I'll look at I'll look into that. Jamie, you're right, mate. He said only thing I pick up on the walkie talkies, two way radios, local sports direct chatting shoes lads, is our fuck's sake. But, yeah, I'll look into getting some kind of aerial for that. Yeah, but because I was going through my dad's stuff today, my mum wanted to sort some of it out. So I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to um, just take what I want. And then if anyone says, oh, can I have that, they can have it. But I'm not leaving it in there now. Um, Richard said, Mike, did you have the Bren gun during one of your police raids? Could imagine the look on their faces to see it placed on the table. I'm not sure if I did now, um, Rich. But, yeah, that would have been, a, yeah. I don't know what they would have thought of that. I don't think I did, in all honesty. But, yeah, it was funny enough seeing their face when they saw all that. But, yeah, the brand gun, definitely. Matt said, Mike, back then, did you ever listen to the scanner that the police were after you? Yes, I don't know if you heard. My, my mum used to listen to it, and if she heard them coming up, you know, our local area, or heard our names mentioned, she'd ring me up and tell us to... To go, yeah, yeah, my mum. That's why we had it. That was solely to listen to the police back in them days. But then I can't remember when Reeves would know they changed it to digital, so you couldn't do that anymore. But yeah, they had that deliberately. My mum and dad bought those a portable one and a tabletop one specifically to listen to the police. Darth said, I don't know the frequencies in the UK. Brand guns aren't the yeah, they are the great big magazine on the top, but yeah, I did have. That's what that is. So six and seven, P was police. I put P just in case they ever came around and found this. So they couldn't prove, you know, no evidence what, what I was listening to. But that there, that was all of the police frequencies you could listen to. Fucking shitloads of them. I think she got sick of going down the police station, Stacey. So she thought <laughs> she could catch, get hold of us before. I knew she couldn't stop us, but at least if she could warn us, she wouldn't have to get up at night to get on three o'clock in the morning to get on the police station. <laughs> but yeah, that's solely why they got that. They got a scanner specifically to listen to the um, yeah, police. But that's that. That's the book. Here's the actual scanner. I don't think we've got the portable one anymore. I think well, it ain't in my dad's room anyway. But yeah, you should have a little portable one. Matt said, I can imagine your mum listening to the scanner, thinking, oh, what now? While well, she was doing your dinner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, you have several scanners, do you, Darth? Nice. Yeah, they, they was good in the old days. They was really, really interesting and, yeah, and helpful. But, um, yeah. I'll get a better area, I think, or something, or set it up properly. Liam said to Darth, and sights on the side. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, design that way so it feeds vertically more reliably. You can lay lower with them. Tax was there. So your mum was the local crime prevention officer, in a way. Yes. Well, yeah, sort of. She never used to stop us doing the crimes. Yeah. <laughs> so the crimes still used to happen. We just didn't get caught. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose, technically. I think she'd given up on trying to stop us, but at least if she could stop us getting nicked. <laughs> the end of Brens were converted in the 50s to 7.6251. Um, so they would work with the L1A1 SLR rifles and 20 round uh, foul mags would fit in the Brens. Oh, nice one. I vaguely knew that, but not as specific as that. James said, can you legally own a Lee Enfield 303 rifle deactivated, of course, in the UK? 
Yeah, if it's deactivated, it don't need to be an antique anyway, James. Sorry, I called you James, didn't I? Um, James. Um, yeah. As long as it's deactivated, you don't need... Um, yeah, it don't even need to be antique. But if it was working, I don't think they do them as antique obs because they're not obsolete. That's the problem. It's not an antique... Um, it's not an obsolete calibre. That's the issue. If it's some weird calibre, they let them... They, you can have them. Darth said, I have a ham licence also. Highly recommended to get one. I'll look into that. That comes up a lot on here, in all honesty. I hope everyone's liking the stream, by the way. James, Worldwide Arms are selling them for £650. What's that? Um, oh, the Lee Enfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, if it, if they wouldn't be selling them if it was illegal. Sparrow said, always fancy the Winchester Lee reaction. Yeah, I, I like them. Closest I've got is that old replica. It's all right. Like, they are literally just wall hangers that look like guns. but um, And they're, they're fully working and all that. You can do more with one of those than a Diac, but I think they're all right for the price, but they, the quality is nothing like a real gun, if that makes sense. Yeah, so Danix. James said thanks. Uh, nice one, mate. Um, that the closest I got was a Red Rider. But Red Riders, when I when I use Liam, they're quite nice guns, they are. I've sent Brands for 650. Yeah, I think I got mine for 125 quid. I think. Can't remember now. Thank you, Ron. I've just checked who put all that donation in. Thank you, Ron, and thank you, Stacey. Especially Ron. Thank you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I had the last month, I've had one, two, three, four people delete there, so it went down quite a lot. Yeah. The D acts are massively up nowadays from what they were. Um, it's a shame, but uh, I'll tell you the best D acts you could ever get for the price, though. Don't know if they sell them this for this kind of price everywhere. Single barrel shotguns, double barrel shotguns. They used to sell them for like 60 quid. D act. Yeah. I think that's a great price for a deactivated shotgun. It may have been less than that. That was a long time ago. Thing shot never did ask me about. I wrote down all this detail. I told you Zed, didn't I? That I'd write down all this detail about the bloody Morso um, pixies, and he'd never even asked me about them. Dustin, how are they deactivated? I can't. I couldn't show you anyway for watching, but I can tell you. Right, what they do is underneath. So with a deer, with a shotgun, sorry, they take the foregrip off. And they cut holes under it, a big slit in both barrels, uh, and then they put a a piece of a cut off piece of bolt in there, weld it in. They cut the firing pins off and then drill a hole into that part. Um, and nowadays, they even take everything out and weld it all shut. Is it coming up? There you go. Support Weapon Collector on Patreon for one dollar. Yeah, but thank you, Stacey. I do appreciate that. And Ron, um, Rob said, Where's the best place in the UK for current yeah, purchases? The only places I know that are good and reliable are Worldwide Arms Limited and DB Militaria. I don't know what their prices are like nowadays, though. But Liam often buys from DMB, and I used to buy regularly from Worldwide Arms Limited. And that was very good prices. But yeah, um, there are other places, but those are the generals I know of that are good. Rob said, Where's the best place? I've read that, didn't I? Ron said, I can't believe how expensive everything has gotten over years from firearms. To firearms. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it, really, Ron? You know, I know, I know it happens, but it shocks you when you look at things. Um, you know, especially when you know the old prices. Dad said he's probably forgotten about the pixies, to be honest. 
he, he, he's on these things about a week and then they go. Too busy having fun on his holiday. I'll have to watch his videos, see what he's up to. <laughs> Tactical to Nora away with them, Zed. Yes, that's more like. <laughs> Liam said, was watching a 1970s thing on cars earlier, sports cars, used to be £2,000. Yeah, fucking, it's insane, isn't it? Dar said, do they ship to the US? I don't know, mate. They might do, because being a big company, they might, because they just, the thing with the bigger companies, they just charge the shit that's posted, don't they? Whereas, like, an independent person can't afford to do it. Steve said, you should be seeing another credit soon from Amazon. Oh, thank you, Steve. Yeah, again, that, that helps. Who's that aimed at Slingshot? Now, yeah, same here. No offence intended, Slingshot. James said, I've been offered £8,000 for my Diac MP44. Is that a good offer? What should I hang on to? I don't know, mate. That sounds bloody good to me. I don't know. If if that's massively overpriced, I would sell it. Um, it's an old spec as well. Hang on, look. Rare old spec. No, oh, it doesn't say a price. I was going to see if I could find something that would say a price. But, yeah, I would... There's nothing... Immaculate condition, old spec, MP44, five grand. Um... If you're if you're being offered eight grand, you could sell it, buy that one, and have three grand left over. So yes, Stug said, pretty sure activated MP44 sell for that much. There's there is one here. Look, immaculate condition, old spec MP44, and they're selling that for four thousand seven hundred ninety five quid. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they do sell for that kind of price. That's shocking, really. Well, where's that? If you can't get on Patreon, it seems like you can't get on it at the minute. I can't anyway. <laughs> Site can't be fucking reached. Fucking bollocks, isn't it? Typical. People want to go on there. Darth, I looked for the Tomcat 2 dealer in the US, but I couldn't find one. If you want, Darth... Ask me on an, on another video, and I'll look for it for you, because there is, you can get the Horizons and the Tomcat 2s, or not the Tomcat 2s, you can get a Horizon version in America, it's just it's not called the Horizon Redback, but it's the same crossbow, uh, but yeah, Tomcat 2, uh, you might not, because that's, that was an English company, I think, Armex oh, originally, and um They've, um, yeah, as Jamie just said, Enfield Sports in the UK, the only place selling Armax Tomcat 2. Not sure if they shipped to the US. Yeah, and they've, um, and Armax shut down, like, whatever it is. I don't know if they shut down, but you know what I mean? Matt said, Mike, is there a way to make a one off contribution to your channel? Um, well, you could have sent me it by PayPal, but not at the minute. You could always just join Patreon for one month for a certain amount and then just stop it so after it pays out then just stop that that's a way to do it so i said i had two mark two golf gti 10 years ago for a couple of grand in the last two years they're heading into classic forward prices bloody hell james had been offered it by a private collector in the uk mine's old spec museum quality very very low serial number yeah, you, it's probably definitely worth that then. All right, Gretchen, good to see you on. So, yeah, it's up to you. Um, yeah, it's probably worth that. It's probably worth more than that then. James, I, I read Jamie's comment, didn't I? No, still can't do PayPal at the minute. If if someone really wanted to, what I could do, if you really want to do like a one-off donation, email me and I'll give you a friend's PayPal and you could do it to that. And then I'll just get it off of them somehow. But yeah. But it all generally does help and it all goes to the channel. But yeah, message me if you want. This is my email.
Well, that's about right. Saying about emails, I'm going to have to check my emails quickly. I'll still be here, but if I hope that person has emailed me. The one I wanted to um, talk about one of their videos. No. Fuck's sake. Because I don't want to say on their video, because other people may then know and could grass this person up, potentially. James said, um, Armex discontinued the Tomcat 2 here in the UK, doubled the price at six quid. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Dad could, could use my PayPal now. Daryl said he'd, he'd lend me his PayPal for a couple of, uh, you know, so I could pay things. In fact, I've already done it. Because <coughs> to get my Patreon money, I've had to change it to his temporarily. It's a fucking nightmare. I've had to change the Gearburst one, the Patreon one, and another one to Daryl's just so I can get the bloody money out of them. Jamie said, oh, can I stop it for your whole collection, Mike? Let me work it all out. <laughs> yeah, there you go, bloke, Daryl. <laughs> But yeah, I have to change all my stuff to that temporarily so I can at least get some payouts. Um, but the problem is there's quite a lot of money stuck in my um, stuck in my PayPal that I can't get. And half of it's not mine. I've got to give it to someone else. And so he can't have his money. Yeah. But at least like money from now I can get. But yeah, the stuff that's stuck in there, that's annoying. Because I'd say half of it's not mine. Um, Matt said we'll send you an email. Oh, thank you, Matt. James said, Mike, where can I get hold of the Horizon Redback? They always seem to be sold out. Have a look on Prepper's shop. I think they've got some at the minute. Haven't they? And that may not be, um, it may not be Horizon. I'm not actually sure. I bought my Horizon from the actual Horizon website, or did I buy it from Merlin Archery? Look up Merlin Archery. Liam said, weather says mostly clear until 2 a.m. We'll be off in a few minutes. Hope I see the comment. Yeah, good luck, mate. Let us know if you do, because I'll have a look later as well. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Tackle said, uh, PP, a joke. Just taken me 20 days to get a re oh, paper from Chinese seller who took my money and ran from about 500 people. So fake masks. Yeah, fuck's sake. You know, I need to get hold of PayPal about... Um, <laughs> I bought some bloody knives just before all the coronavirus business. I bought four knives from Gearbest. None of them have arrived. It was only 20 quid altogether, but still. Um, yeah, I want my money. <laughs> yeah, Merlin Archery or the actual Horizon site itself, James. Um, Gretchen tonight, oh, that's so dope, Liam. Hope you see it tonight. Pray for a, a clear sky in the UK. Yeah, I tried looking for the past three days, Gretchen ain't bloody seen it. Um, Sarah Jardine, you're right, mate. Sorry if I butchered your name. Richard said, I'll be off now. Um, quite tired all of a sudden. All right, Rich, good to have you on, mate. Um, keep going with your bow. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope it goes well. That's it's not the point. You wouldn't let Giza take twenty quid from you. Exactly. That's 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 it. <coughs> that's it. Exactly. <coughs> like I say, yeah. Good night, Rich. By the way. Yeah. So I got distracted then. I'll probably do another late one tonight because I ain't got nothing else to do. I have started playing a new game on the old PS4, um, Elder Scrolls Online, and actually, I think it's fucking decent. If you like the Elder Scroll games, you know, Skyrim and that, that bloody um. Elder Scrolls Online. Yes, yeah, as good as the, as good as the other games. Um, it's six quid, six pound in the store. Why not? Sparrow said UK crossbows and Bushcraft Labs have EK Archery RX adders in stock. Nice, nice one. <coughs> Jim said tactical. I've been waiting four months for Chinese soda powered chicken fan. Giving up on that one. 
nightmare, isn't it? I, I know, I know there is an issue with, um, you know, with Corona and that, but still, I don't know. Oh, James said, are spring assisted knives illegal in the UK? I don't know. It's a very confusing thing, a very thin line with the description. It doesn't say anything about spring assisted knives, but it says any knife that can be automatically opened by the press of a button or something attached to the blade. Now, that could mean spring assisted. Um, or was it that's no, 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 spring assisted are illegal. Yeah, sorry, I, it's because there's so much shit with them laws, it starts to fucking make my fucking mind go mad. No, sorry. Spring assisted, I think, are illegal, aren't it? It was flippers we weren't sure about. Is it? Oh, God, I don't know. Who remembers? Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, who remembers what it is? Look on my video. Um, look on my channel for spring assisted or flippers. I can't bloody remember now. I think spring assisted are now classed as flick knives. Like, yeah, are they? Oh, I can't bloody remember. I think spring assisted knives are now classed as flick knives. But flippers are okay. So what you want to do, though, don't get rid of your spring-assisted knives. If you're really worried, take, take the springs out. And then you've still got a decent knife, but it'll flick out still. Yeah. Let me just have a look on my channel. I, you know what? I can't bloody remember. Um... Oh, I'll be back in a second. Just looking on my channel. Are spring assisted and flipper knives legal in the UK? Or maybe they're not then. Maybe they're not. And if I've got a video saying, are oh, spring assisted and flipper knives legal in the UK? No, I don't think they are then. It's just it's hard to tell the definition. This is what I wrote. This is what I wrote a year ago, right? This is from my own video. This video, I wrote, hang on, I'll, I'll share the link to it. So this video may give you an idea if they're illegal or not. I don't actually know. Right. So my opinion was, personally, I think spring assisted is illegal and now deemed as a flick knife, flick knife and can't be owned. Um, yeah, and then flippers, I was never really sure. Yeah, Zed said spring-assisted knives are now illegal. Most people agreed that it sounds like spring-assisted knives are illegal. Yeah. Jim said, good idea, Tactical. I can definitely do that from UK suppliers. What was Tactical saying? Oh, I'll try to get the solar-powered tri trickle charger connected up to a 12-volt fan. Tactical, I use my old bike one to charge my phone when I used to go on camping. Nice. Yeah, so I won't be on tomorrow night. And you know me, I wouldn't be able to get on the next day. I can't do it. I could not do these with a hangover. I wouldn't be able to talk. Dad said to Jim, did you get that um, Phoenix? Oh, Jim, I watched your video on that talk. So that was, yeah, not hilarious. But, um, yeah, Sod's Law, that you was talking about the torch and it bloody broke, didn't it? And I did see Dad's comments as well. Um, but I forgot to comment. Yeah. What did you get in the end? It was your... I'll, I'll tell you what, though. I've got a looming top that's got a little looming top that takes... It was a little looming top that took a single AAA, but it had a push button on the on the back. That would be what you'd, you'd be suited to. Tim said, I wonder where an Emerson Wave would stand legally. Yeah, I don't know, Tim. It's, uh, it's the typical thing where the laws are so bloody vague... Because it just, it just says something that can be opened automatically by the push of uh, something connected to the to the blade. Technically, yeah, opening an Amazon Wave in your pocket, that is something attached to the blade that made it open automatically, isn't it? I think they'd be all right, though. But I know what you mean. James said, I told him, keep my collection provided I take the springs out. I've already lost enough stuff due to the laws in the UK. Cheers for clarifying. My... Yeah, take the springs out. As I said earlier, James, and I don't ever want to sound like I'm encouraging people to break the law, but I think the laws was deliberately designed to mainly affect criminals, if that makes sense. What was happening there was going around gang members' houses 
the gang members' houses was full of fucking weapons, and because all the weapons was legal, they couldn't do anything. So they changed the laws so that they can take those weapons away from people. And I have heard that a lot of pe other like normal people, if they come around your house, they'll just overlook it. But if you're doing, a, if you have committed some kind of crime, they could potentially take everything away. Yeah, and that could be another thing to charge you with. But yeah, but I'm not, I'm not trying to get anyone to break the law. But um, yeah, if they're never going to come around your house, how would they ever know? Brenton said, I figured that kind of stuff is mad expensive, but I guess it's becoming commercialised. Jim said, I didn't even look at the Lumen Top this time, Mike. It was an epic fail. Yeah, I watched that whole video while I was eating my dinner. James said, a bloke came up to the counter. Burger and chips, please, he said. Right, I've got to wait for the end of this bloody... Uh... <laughs> Mike said, that's interesting, Mike. Gretchen said, that is dope, dude. Um, thank you for letting me know. Oh, charges are cheaper than soda camping charges. And they're pretty much identical. <laughs> you right, Spike, by the way? So the thing is, flippers and wave things are technically part of a blade, but whether the plod will look at it that way depends on their mood at the time. Yeah, that's a very good point, Ted. Yeah, you're right there. And that, that, that can be the case. It's a lot of things, isn't it? What mood they're in, how you're acting, why they're at your house. Uh, yeah. You know, like I said, the majority of the times, I've never had all of my weapons took away ever. The most they've ever took away was not long after there was some killings in this country by a bloke dubbed the Crossbow Cannibal, wasn't he, or something like that. And the CID who came around here thought that crossbows was illegal. So they took all of my crossbows. This wasn't the last time, it was the time before. Took all my crossbows, including my homemade ones, and checked them. And they was they were saying me, uh, they were saying to me, oh. Because they thought there was even power limits on them. All this shit, they literally didn't know nothing about crossbows at all. They thought there was power limits on crossbows and all shit like that. Um, yeah. And I said to them, no, there's no power limits. Everything's legal. Yeah, and they, they did. They just bought them all back. I do wonder if they've got some kind of ultraviolet markings on now, though. Might check that one day. Um, Gretchen said, yeah, crossbow cannibal, I think they called him over here. But because of that, yeah. Tim said, I expect the standard plod wouldn't even know what a wave is. No, you're right. You're right. James said, a bloke came to the count. He said, burger and tip, please. I asked him if he was eating or taken out. Very fucking funny, he said, as he walked away. I love my job working in the prison canteen. That's <laughs> like so. Don't say boo. Right, Riggs? <laughs> that said the CID were fucked with it. Fuck with mine. This is the first time I've ever thought to myself... This this is me this saying like, I'm old now. The, I looked at these two CID blokes and I thought to myself, bloody hell, please get young nowadays. And they was younger than me. You know, this was five, six years ago. So they must have been in their early 30s. They looked young anyway. But they were younger than me, I'm sure they were. Yeah. But CID are like the um you know, detective sort of thing, and they're a bit higher up than um, police, aren't they? For you know, the Americans might not know. I don't know what you'd, what would you, what would the CID be in America? John Sabu said the standard town Bobby had no idea about weapons. Even so-called weapons trainers don't have a clue. Trust me. I remember you saying. I remember you saying, Riggs, that yeah, you experienced something like that, and um, yeah, and even the ones teaching you. That was wrong, weren't they? That's with coppers in disguise, or oh, <laughs> yeah, more like so. But yeah, that's the first time I ever thought, bloody hell, police are getting younger, younger every day now. What's we on about just before that, anyway? It's weird how we get on to certain subjects. Oh, I was being asked about, yeah. It must be me who brings him up. I've now got about eight videos for the uh, interactive movie filmed. Um, I think you lot are going to like it. It makes me laugh. It's pretty funny. Should be a decent bit of gore in it. Good bit of comedy. Time travel. 
Matt said Tosh lines from the Bill circa. Yeah, 1989 was a real cop. Yeah, I remember old Tosh, yeah, from the Bill. Fuck like said. He real actor in that died quite young, didn't he? From fucking out. Al- he was an Alki, wasn't he? <coughs> this site can't be reached. Fucking weird that is. I want to look at some of it. Tim said, are you doing the shooting competition this year? I've been waiting for someone to ask, actually, Tim. I will be doing it, but I, I might start it late this year and just get it done quicker. The last time it dragged on till nearly Christmas. Um, I might start it soon. Yeah, but yeah, I definitely am, Tim. It's just I had so much on at the minute. With other things. Um, what I think I'll do, I'm going to finish off um, the 10 pound weapon build challenge, get them finished, finish off this um, interactive movie thing I'm doing, choose choose weapon collectors, uh, multiple deaths um, video, and then I'll start the shooting competition. You joining in, Tim? They said Gretchen, the crossbow cannibal, called himself that. He gave his name as he was when he was arrested. The tabloids ran with it. Oh, is that what it was? He called him himself it. Yeah. But yeah, because of that nutter, I had my bloody crossbows took off of me. Well, it wasn't his fault, but <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. These people fucking single handedly get it's weird though, isn't it? So we get you get the crossbow killer, crossbow cannibal, he kills multiple people. They don't ban um, crossbows. Yet some kid buys a knife off of Amazon and now they've changed the whole fucking laws on how you buy knives. Ridiculous. And that kid would have just used something else anyway. Oh, it was self-reclaimed, was it? I thought maybe it was... um, Yeah. Tabloids normally do it, don't they? Tabloids love to name people, don't they? Give them names. Tim said, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Is your 2 240 up and running? It was last time I... Um, last time I... Because I put a new seal in it. It's a homemade seal. But yeah, last time I messed around with it... Um, uh, oh, fuck am I on about? Last time I shot the bloody thing, it did work anyway. If not, um, Tim, I'll buy some new seals anyway. Ted said, um, crossbow cannibal. Personally, I wouldn't have thought crossbows were that tasty. It's all sorts. Yeah, if that's that, yes. <laughs> Eating the crossbows. Gretchen said, that interactive video sounds cool. Sorry for the delay. I'm away from the computer a minute. That's, yeah, that's all right, Gretchen. Uh, hopefully, you lot should find it. There's some proper funny bits. I've, I've got to do all the acting, and I cannot act to save my fucking life. So that will be funny just on its own. The, the worst acting you've ever seen. There's some deliberately proper funny bits, I think, anyway. I think some of you will love it. Um, yeah. And there's some um, references to films. And you've got to watch all nine endings for it all to make sense, though. So some bits you'll be like, oh, that's that's a bit random. Why did that happen? But if you watch the other bits, if you go down another storyline, it might explain why that happened. And it's all tied in, every bit of it. Taking a long time to do. Ron said, look up Sasquatch YouTube channel, Mike. And it spelled just like that. I'll look that up, Ron, definitely. <laughs> it's here, how oh, nice. This, it made me laugh to looking at it. It's a, it's a Sasquatch <laughs> playing sax. Yeah, sax squatch. Oh, uh, fuck's sake. That looks like amazing. <laughs> Nice, yes, that does look really good, John. Uh, Ron, great recommendation. Fuck's sake. <laughs> James said, Mike, can you do something for me, please? Um, <laughs> that Devon, get the tables. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I can't shout it, but yes, there you go, I've done it. <laughs> I can't do an American accent either. Devon, get the tables. That's <laughs> oh, that's sad. James said, in the 90s, my best pal 
was pistol whipped in the head by a local Ned Chav. Um, I gave an accurate description to firearms officer, a Beretta 92F 9mm. Um, he still has a round barrel tip scar on his temple. Oh, bloody hell. Fuck's sake. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. <sighs> it's gone on quiet ever so suddenly. Is everyone liking the stream, by the way? Yeah, I'll probably do a late one tonight. I ain't got nothing else to do tonight. Gretchen said, that all sounds really dope. I can't wait to watch it. I'm sure your acting is Academy Award winning. <laughs> no doubt, won't you? It, well, what's the other one? The um, the Raspberry Awards. I could probably win one of those for my acting. But the effort is there. That's what counts. The effort is there. But my acting, I cannot act save my life. But I don't care. It makes it funnier. My terrible acting just makes it better. <laughs> Gretchen said that is what counts. Yeah, that's it. I'll try. And yeah, but yeah, it's I fully admit my act is terrible, but I think that makes it better in a way. Yeah. But yeah, I got I think I've got I mean I've done about eight videos for it, I think, but I think there's gonna be about twenty. The only issue is I've got to be careful because if I leave it any longer, my hair's gonna get longer. And then you'll see what's supposed to be the same day. My hair is longer. Hopefully people don't know this. Keep having to shave every couple of days is annoying because I don't normally shave. I let this grow after time. But because I did it when I was shaved, I have to keep shaving now. Um, and I have to keep wearing a bloody jacket because that's got to keep, you know, keep the continuity going. Number seven, Bruce said, Mike, what was the last big, decent weapon by before you had to jack the job in. You know what? Rigs that are so bloody long ago, I can't remember. I could... Do you know what, though? I have receipts for all of my stuff, so I could probably find out. Um, I don't know. I definitely bought the old pump action shotgun when I was working. Um, I, remember, I remember looking through a gun mart while I was at work on my um, lunch break, looking through gun mart, Finding that, and I think I even rang them up and bought it while I was at work. Yeah. Or if not, I filled in the thing while I was at work and then sent it when I got home. Yeah, I'd always wanted a pump action shotgun. You know what, Riggs, I can't bloody remember. But I could actually go right down to the date and find the last thing I bought. If Yeah, I've got under my bed, I've got a folder of all of my weapons. Um... um Receipt, but in all honesty, that's so long ago now. That's like 14 years ago when I was buying like a lot of stuff. Maybe no, it was more than that. It was more than that. It was like 17 years ago when I was buying, like spending a lot of money, you know, hundreds of pounds a week on um <coughs> weapons. Yeah, <clears throat> dad said, as long as you can shout and speak non tentacle lines without laughing, we'll do fine. So, what was yeah. You ever seen these African soap operas? I could fit in fit into one of those with my acting straight away. Stacey said, do your nephews and nieces have any interest in weapons and collections? Well, my brother's <laughs> kids are four and six. Um, they do like playing around with weapons, like I did. They do like toy guns and toy swords. Actually, yeah. And um, I have seen some of my videos because their dad obviously watches them. Um, they have seen this stuff, and yeah, they do seem to sort of like it. Um, <coughs> but yeah, looking at it, yeah, they do definitely seem to have some kind of um, fascination with weapons like I did. Yeah. I think it just depends how normal it is to you, isn't it? Like, if you've never seen that kind of thing, it would be strange and alien. And, and a lot of people associate weapons with violence, which is not actually the case. I collect this stuff more, you know, this is no different than someone who collects cars or, or, um, sorry, pretend anyway, no, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> um, no different people who collect cars or dolls and shit like that. When you look at it objectively. Um, Ron said, did they confiscate your blank files? No, I sold them in the end. Yeah, I sold them. 
again, I was getting very skint that to sell them. I wish I kept them now because they're probably the best of both worlds. They're really good quality, fully working replica, basically, that shoots. You know, shoots a blank. Tactical said, you're either the cool uncle or the mad one. Yeah, I don't know yet. Probably a bit of both. <laughs> Rob said, I did try to do the Patreon thing before, but it wouldn't load for me. I'll try and sort out this with you. Oh, thank you, Rob. Um, as I said, that genuinely does mean a lot to me. Yeah. Stacy knows her stuff. Yes, it's sporting goods. Exactly. I quite often to call them that, although I can't call myself sporting goods collector. But yeah. But no, uh, Jack used to always mention that. Jack Stryker always used to say, yeah, don't forget to call them sporting goods. Tell myself, but the time has flown by, Mike. I can't believe it was easy 17 years ago. I was getting spy tech catalogs through the door. So blade movie swords and glass. Yeah, it was that long ago, wasn't it? Right, um, Rig. Yeah. It does, and you're right, it does, the time does fly by, it don't seem that long ago to me, it seems like five years ago. Um, but yeah, technically, it's not getting off of 17 years ago now, isn't it, if you think about it. James said, Mike, someone breaks into your house, what one thing would you grab to scare him, <laughs> including the willy? Oh, I don't know. I don't like to think about these things. There's no end of stuff there. Better, better not say. You, use your imagination. Paul Evans, right, mate? Jim said, I'd love to see the sport that involves a fair barn Sykes. <laughs> yes, now that would be a sport. <laughs> oh, from Canada. Nice one, Paul. I made this today. There's a video of it if you want to see it. It's my survival knife. No, but as soon as the um, as soon as the lever comes, I'll do a sheath for it. Uh, Liam said back in a bit. I'm gonna see if I can see the comment. Oh, you've been yet? You've been away for about half an hour, haven't you? Fifteen minutes. Paul said, "I I miss yeah, I miss back home. I was born in Leicester. Oh, nice one. What made you go to Canada then?" Tactical said, job application form that um, crooks shit scared <laughs> of the dis. Job application form, most crooks shit scared of a decent day's work. There you go, yeah. The hanger job application form on my door. <clears throat> Stacey said, my earliest memory is playing of two dead rabbits in my gramps' shed. I watched as he skinned them and took the pellets out. Uh, yeah, pellets out of them. It was no big deal. That's it. When you're used to it, it's it's sort of normal, isn't it, Stacey? When when you're not, it's yeah, it's shocking, very alien. Yeah, people don't like, especially this kind of stuff. Dude. But it's just they don't sort of understand it. They they see weapon and they think it must be some kind of um sort of violent nutter. That's not always the case. Majority of the time, it's not. I, I couldn't tell you a single person who I watch their videos that they're um. You know, they're an actual violent nutter. So you can't tell from their videos anyway. Matt said, any places you can go camping up in the woods near you? Well, that place I went to recently ain't too bad. You can get there. And although it's only like 50 metres off a path, no one actually ever goes in that one bit. So, yeah, you, you can stay there. Matt slept there three days and no one saw So I don't know why, but now I have a vision. Mike at the top of his stairs with a flowery frock and holding a baseball bat. Like, so where did the flock frock come from? <laughs> Dad said, hello, big boys. Have some fun. And they run like that. Ah, oh, what would scare them off? I'd say, Dad. Yeah. said, your homemade stuff is awesome, mate. You're talented. I enjoy those videos along with the rest, of course. Very informative. Oh, thank you, James. Yeah, I just, with this kind of stuff, I just really enjoy doing it. Most of it's all self learned as well. No one ever taught me how to do anything. It was all just try it, basically. Try it. And but it was all out of sort of necessity. You know, they say necessity is the mother of invention. Um, you know, and that's true. You end up making things. You, you're not inventing things, making things because you can't get them, basically. Yeah. 
And I wish I had a sheath for this. The fucking thing is quite dangerous. Can't help myself, it's a mouse one. I've got to keep showing it off for you to go watch the video. Yeah, this is a rough idea what the sheath will look like. If it makes sense. <clears throat> Stacy says, is the frock inspired by Trevor from GTA 5 where he walks up the mountain? He was mighty, for to say. But the only thing is, that's the kind of thing I, I was picturing though when, they, when, when he said it. I ain't got no frocks, so you're safe there. It'd be worse if I was just stood there in my boxer shorts, I reckon. Jumbo Turbo says, I'm currently doing a couple of um, shadow boxes with Mark II, Mark III, Fairbairn Sykes knives. Incorporating original issue DPM and original insignia. Nice one, Riggs. I'm going to do something similar, but not. I'm going to do like a shadow box thing, but with my dad's stuff. So it will have his Fairbairn Sykes and his truncheon in there. One of the old, old police legal truncheons, you know, like the old, 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 old ones. And then some pictures of him and some other stuff of his, some of his work cards. Pictures of him at work, pictures of when he was young, stuff like that. Just like a little memorial thing. Um, I've got to wait for my fucking Patreon, not Patreon, money, my PayPal money to be accessed to like buy the wood. And the um, probably do it per specs. I could do it glass, I'll have to see. Sparrow said, I, mem I remember when I was young, used to go ferreting for rabbits with mates, but never had enough nets. One day on the burrows, one had a bat at the hole, the other a two two. Um, and another one with a blunt cleaver, let's say. That said, great, you've spoiled the video now. <laughs> now what the sheath will be like. Why do that without? I'm sorry, Tactical. Have you got any white lightning where you are? I found a picture of me. Have you got any white? I'll finish my sentence once. Have you got any white lightning? Drink a load of that. It might wipe your memory. I've got a picture of me in my bedroom about over 20 years ago in this bedroom. And you can see on the table cans of white lightning. And me and Malcolm would only drink things like white lightning, Strongbow Super, Tenet Super. All my other mates used to drink bloody Stella or um or um Fosters. We would refuse to drink it once strong enough. They used to they used to class Stella as strong. That wasn't strong enough for me. Uh James said, looking forward to yeah, getting away for a bit. Off to camp at Loch Ness. Oh, nice one. That'd be good, James. Jim said, that's what got me hooked on yours and Mark's channel. The poor man's approach as an um, ex-self-sufficient. I'll do the same. That's it, isn't it, Jim? It, I know what you mean, though. It's, you you can sort of appreciate it more, can't you, sort of thing? Because, you know, any, anyone with a bit of money can go out and buy all these fancy knives if they've got the money. But a lot of people couldn't make these things. And yeah, and making them yourself costs you a lot less money, don't it? <laughs> Jim said, not really next. I just live in a proper house now. Matt said, Stacy used to dress me up as a bunny girl and answer the door to get rid of the babies and it worked. Like saying, it did. Jumble Sale Boo said, sounds like a great audio, Mike. I have so much respect for memorial displays. Uh, like you're going to do for your dad. You need any financial help, please let me. Oh, thank you, Riggs. I think I should be all right. It's just all the money stuck in bloody paper, but I'm, I massively appreciate that. I think everything, I think memorials are a great thing. People should be remembered, shouldn't they? Um, yeah, people should be remembered. Everyone should be remembered, I think. Um, yeah, so I'll do a nice display for my dad, and it can be, hand, it can be handed down then for years. Tactically, no way, Mike. Evil stuff, that. Spit on the fireplace. Put the pattern on. <laughs> Nodinium Armory. Nice. You're, you're right, sorry. <laughs> All right, mate. Good to see you on. I always can say nice one. Good to see you on, mate. Now how's it going, Mike and everyone? Love the survival blade you made today. Top quality. I can't stay, though. I'm about to go and play Age of Empires on Steam. I want to wage war on some empires. All right, if you're still here, have fun, mate. I see your knife, your knives finally turned up to Eric as well. Yeah, after all that trouble that was going on with him. Damien said, I freaked the postman out today by turning up at door naked. Don't know what scared him. <laughs> what scared him, me being naked, or the fact he knew was 
Uh, the fact that he knew, knows where I live, he knew where I knew where he is. Well, fuck, I've butted that. <laughs> um, Stacey said, Mike, I'm sure you know to take things Matt says with a pinch of salt. Uh, no, I believe everything he says. And I, the problem is, though, everything he says, I can picture it in my head. I've got quite a vivid imagination. So I see these things. It's way too vivid. <laughs> No, I know he's having me on, I think. I think, anyway. Tactical said hello to Londinium. Classic game, that. Used to play that online. Yeah, Tactical, did you ever get that, um, what do you call it, um, Elder Scrolls Online? That's a, really, that's a good game from what I've played of it. Deborah, which part of England are you in, mate? No worries if you don't want to answer. I live in North Yorkshire. I ain't that far from London, put it that way. I don't like to say too much, just in case. You know what I mean? Because you never know. There have been like a doxing attempt with Liam. Some some people did start spreading his dress about. Um, yeah. Buckinghamshire. You know, I don't mind saying Bucks, Buckinghamshire. So AC said he's a good storyteller. He is. Who's off? Oh, you're off, Pete. Sorry, I nearly missed you then. Good night, mate. We've got work tomorrow. Yeah, good night. Yeah, that's 11 o'clock. I'll stay on late tonight. Might, might stay on to 12. We'll see what happens. At least half 11, let's say. That said, I um, had it for ages, mate. Thought it was cross-platform, but I've read it wrong. No, I think it is now. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's cross-platform. Let me look it up. But I, I thought it was. I'm pretty sure it is. Can you play Elder Scrolls Online cross platform? That doesn't support. That's weird. Yeah, they don't fucking support it, does it? James said, Mike, you should open a themed, a weapon themed pub. Place to meet, have a few beers, talk about weapons. Yeah, oh, what would I name it? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> You'd have, it'd all have to be bolted to the wall. Fucking solid as fuck, though, wouldn't it? Imagine. Or under some kind of bulletproof glass. <laughs> Every time I see, I, was, I saw a friend of mine take a picture of themselves in a pub, and behind them was a fucking halberd. And I thought to myself, if I was pissed in that pub when I was, you know, in my teens, we would have been trying to rip that off the wall. <laughs> You'd have to bolt that shit well good to the wall, I think. Yeah, that's weird, Tactical. I just looked it up. Yeah, and it says, even though Elder Scrolls Online is available on PC and most popular consoles, it doesn't support the cross-platform play. Instead, there are separate servers for PC, PS4, and Xbox players. When these pa platforms have been announced, how long ago was that there? Here's Elder Scrolls Online cross-platform 2020. That's weird. I, you know what? I've been told by multiple people that was. <clears throat> Child line, I've left you on. I've left you on. Oh, too late. Gone now. <laughs> oh, well. Stacy said, we're thinking of... Uh, we're thinking of a name for your theoretical pub. Yes, Stacy. I can't think of any. I'm terrible with... Um, names of things. I'm not very, when it comes to naming things, I'm not very um, imaginative. BB said, I oh, you Chelsea fans. I don't watch football, any football. Well, I might watch, um, I might watch England play. That's it. Jim said, I'm in Bedfordshire, Mike. We must uh, both get BBC three counters ready. Yes, yes. Yeah, I listen to them. Yeah. And you went far from me then, Jim, really. Yeah, just, just yeah. Leah meant far either. We won't say too much about anything like that. But, um, yeah. No, I don't support any football team. Never have. Never been into football. In my household, we um, never used to watch football. Ever. 
when I grew up, so no interest to me. I, I didn't mind playing a bit of, um, you know, mess around football on a field and that, but I had no interest in watching it. Um, yes, I've never been into it, but my younger brothers do both support teams, and due to them, my mum and dad started watching it, but I've never, never been a regular. I, I watch England because it's England. So what we got then, got Excalibur, the Shooting Nut Pub, um, the Knuckle Duster Inn, the Broken Arm, what's the chief? Don said, Mike, I had a UK legal defence idea. Very embarrassing. Just carry a giant dildo in a bag. But that could work, that could work. I don't know. There may be some kind of, um, I bet there's some kind of indecency laws for that, probably. I don't know. You never know with our laws. They make, you know. <clears throat> but yes, that one comes up quite a, uh, quite a lot, um, John, but I ain't going to be carrying around the giant dildo. Don't get Matt talking about dildos, though, because that would be never-ending now. The amount of time I've always had to spend listening to him going on about fucking consolidors. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm just going to the toilet quickly. I'll be back in a second. You lot carry on with your names. Cheers, Tactical. Doing a good bit of modding tonight. If I could promote you, I would. There you go, wash my hands before any fucker mentions it. Weapons free house, Wendy House Paint Chamber Pub. That sounds quite good. James said, Oh, UK laws punish even the law abiding. Oh, the fucking sneeze. And, the, and class, just about everything is a weapon. You wash your hands in. <laughs> that says, Mike, I never talk about console doors. That was <laughs> TXS 1079. <laughs> oh, God. I must have got a bit of dust up my nose. Anybody want crossbow quivers? £12.50, £10 for the quiver, £2.50 posters. No, my flies are done up, mate. My flies are done up. <laughs> Zombies rest. Thomas Harbo said, I ain't in footy, but I have issues with those that do. I just find football players and commentators very boring. They're all very drab and uninspiring people. There you go. Charles, I swear, I've not blocked you once tonight. It's the mods tonight. Uh, and, yeah, they can do whatever they like. I promise you, I've not blocked you once. But that's what mods are for. So. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm when it comes to naming things, I'm really fucking un, unimaginative. I've got a good imagination, but as soon as someone says, you know, name, make a name up for something, it, I'll tell you what though. Tomorrow, I'll probably wait. If you said really think about one, I probably I have this habit of subconsciously thinking about things, and I'll wake up and I've thought of a really good idea for something. I do that quite often. Um. I've quite often like been thinking about something for ages, like months, and then one morning I've sort of dreamt the fucking solution to it or thought about the solution in my sleep, wake up, and I'm like, oh, fuck, and I've actually come up with the idea for something that, yeah, that I couldn't do. Yeah, 
but I couldn't solve what I was awake. <laughs> anyway, James said, yeah. Uh, made you double check though. You did, you did make me double check, and I did generally check. Zombat's rest. There you go then. <laughs> and would it be a picture of Zombat on the on the fucking thing? You know, the old, um, can't recall them. I don't know if they got a name. Yeah, the blocking intensifiers. I have heard though that child childline support has even made some Reddit thing to uh, notify other trolls when we're online. So, but none actually bothered me anyway. Brown said, if you can keep a quiver for me till the end of the month, I'll buy another off you. Um, and I'm paid. 100% got one for you. I'll keep it. Yep. I've got enough. In, in fact, Sparrow, if I sold them all anyway, I've still got enough to make about another five anyway. So I've got 20 here, but I could make 25. So if they, they won't all be sold by then anyway. <laughs> For an hour in his head. Architub, you right, mate? Lombard's rest. So we've had a couple who agree with that. Yeah, never ever been into football. The only, the closest sport I'm into, closest thing to a sport I'm into, darts. Quite good at darts when I um, play it regularly. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you get your quivers in. They're pretty much perfected now as well. Now they're getting better as they go. Matt said, "Imagine Mike's weapon pub looking like a uh, the Crover milk bar and Clockwork Orange, with Zumba the barman, <laughs> like Johnny Cab from Total Recall. Yeah, that would be decent, actually. Yeah." Dad said, come to think of it, we haven't seen Zom before. He's all right. You'll see him in this new interactive movie soon. Or it might be him anyway. You know what, Stacey? Quite a few people have said that, and I should probably charge a bit more. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. What I might do, when I, I'm going to send some to America, I might do those ones a bit dearer. Um, yeah, look into it. If if they've never had them any cheaper, they won't notice it. If that makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> Architab said, "Currently drilling into a copper pipe for my ten pound weapon built down. Nice, nice one." Look forward to that. Make sure you let me know when it's done so I can definitely um Yeah. We just we just um counteracted each other then, didn't we? Um, that, cool. That's all right there. Yeah, I'd gladly have the free titted lady in my pub. All right, no, Arkansas, that sounds great. Just make sure you tell me when you've done it on like a normal video so I can definitely see it. Jimson, I watched Andy's air gun review and he put his version of Zomba on a pivot base with bungee ropes attached to the shoulder so he can shoot at a moving target. Interesting to see how hard it is. I've got an idea for that. I can't remember where I've got it, but I've got a f it must be the spring off of a car or something. But I've got this big fuck off spring that's about that long, about that round, you know, about as thick as my finger. I kept that deliberately. Possibly I could have, it would wobble a bit. But I was thinking of doing a swinging target anyway, um, Jim. Yeah, that's a good idea. Zomba, I deliberately made so that he's quite easy to adapt, if that makes sense. He, all his, he's only a torso, really, with like a bit coming down and like a stand. Um, so, yeah, he's easily, he's easily adaptable to something like that. Stacey's all right. She's just sick of the troll that keeps uh, writing weird things. Well, not writing weird things, but it was what he did in the first place. <laughs> he, doesn't even, the thing is, he doesn't even do anything now. Just gets blocked as soon as he comes on. <laughs> but, you know, that's what you've got to, you know, 
nothing wrong with that. We won't talk about the old charges. You know, in all honesty, that's what they want anyway. They like the they like the attention. I don't, we won't give it them. Anybody got any plans tomorrow? I don't know. Can you even do a lot now? I don't know. Because as I say, I don't go out a lot anyway, so I don't know if there's a lot you can do. Now nah, you're all right, Stacey. Don't worry about that. And she wasn't being rude anyway, because she didn't even write. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow, I don't know what I'll be doing. If the leather comes tomorrow, I don't think I'll do the sheaf tomorrow. The, the, the leather for that sheaf may come tomorrow, but if I'm going out in the evening, when I say going out, you know, it's either I'm either going down my brother's house or I'm going into Wendy's house with my brother. So, they're going on a hog hunt, Ron. That sounds good. James said, my wife told me to slowly take off her bra and knickers. Getting excited, I did. And she shouted at me to stop wearing her underwear. What does that say? <clears throat> Definitely taking Zed's place for the jokes. But I'll always give Zed credit. That his jokes was always 100% relevant to the chat. Very, very well thought out jokes his was. Jim said, off to look at potential lodgings tomorrow morning. It's a place I live at 24 years ago with it. Oh, nice. That is strange. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, Jim. Yeah, I hope it goes well. Yeah, good having you on. I'll make sure to comment next time. I did watch your video about your EDC and then your torch breaking. So what did you get in the end before you go off, Jim? Did you get a Phoenix then or Phoenix, whatever they call them? Don't matter if you're off, I'll ask you another time. I'll tell you what I could do tomorrow if people are up for it. I could do a daytime stream tomorrow if anyone wants one. I know they're not quite the same, though. People prefer the evening ones. But I could actually do, if people was interested, in some kind of six till seven or eight o'clock stream. But yeah, it'd be an early one. Le Leah Rose says, I smell like chicken nuggets, do I? Don't think so. <laughs> Zed said, I'm lulling you into a false sense of security. When, when, oh, when, then when you least expect it. Well, as I say, Zed, you put a lot of effort into yours, and they're always... Um, they're always relevant to the actual discussion that's going on. That's what I do like about yours. <clears throat> Matt said, fishing in the River Seven tomorrow in a nice pub. Fish can wait. Nice. Stacey said, we're off to the tip tomorrow. How romantic. <laughs> I'll, I'll let the mods handle this, then we won't be accidentally undoing each other. <clears throat> Fifty mile cycle for me, Jamie said. Bloody up, James. So I keep saying Jamie, don't I? Sorry, mate. Sparrow said, meant to say, there's a three D printed STL file kicking about online. A three D printable magazine for the old style um, Cobra pistol crossbow. It looks cool as fuck. Might be something to look into. I've, I've, I could probably make one out of aluminium. All honestly, Sparrow, because um, the old ones they're pretty simple to do because of the nature of the. Um, crossbows or I'll tell you what I'll probably make one from Kydex but I appreciate you mentioning that Jim says it's a great place just like that <laughs> cat's art oh yeah because you're cats aren't you Jim said the uh, wife told me to make her scream using only one finger so I poked her in the eye That's right. Matt said I ain't going to the tip <laughs> she can do it herself Stacey says oh it looks like we're double booked lol <laughs> So Stacey's going to the tip and Matt is going fishing, by the sounds of it. Ron said, I've got a sudden got a sudden urge to tear down. I've got a sudden urge to tear down statues, for fuck's sake. 
<laughs> Bloody hell, bro. I sat on the bat. I had to delete my bloody Twitch stream the other day because we started going into a bit of our BLM. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the problem is these freak shows do make a lot of accounts to try and be annoying, but it doesn't really work, especially when you've got good mods on who are working hard at their jobs. <clears throat> Anybody seen the film The Colour of Space with Nicolas Cage in? What did I watch last Oh, I tried to watch the film Mary last night with Gary Oldman, I think it is, about a haunted boat, but I just couldn't get into it. It was too much of a jump scare film for me, and they get on my nerves after a while. I prefer it to be a bit more sort of psychological, not just loud music making you jump. <clears throat> Ah, Stacey, oh, no, don't get into politics. Never on here. Never on here. It's slightly different on the Twitch because there's only like four of us on there. So you can have a little... Because I don't talk about that stuff in my normal life anyway. But I'd listen to... I won't say on here because, because of what it turns into. But I, um, I'd um, i been listening to the radio while I was making those quivers and something really weird came up, really annoying. Um. So I ended up talking about that and then having to delete the... Um, nothing bad came up, but you know what I mean. You don't want that stuff out there. So yeah, I had to delete my bloody last Twitch um, stream. Archetypes of favourite Gary Oldman films, Leon and The Fifth Element. Yeah, Leon Jackson. I did a film club version of that where I talk about films and I dressed up as Leon. JMR. <clears throat> you all right, mate? James Hare's cool, mate. Well, used to being called Jamie. It beats jock and sweaty socks, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't know what it is, James. I don't know that I keep saying Jamie. Because I, yeah, it's probably because there's another Jamie on. I don't know. Oh, nice one, Rob. So just started watching the old retro zombie films. Night, like, like Living Dead, Dead Live. Yeah, very good films, are, aren't they? Yeah, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. The Night of the Living Dead remake is good. That was made... Tom Savini directed it, but George Romero was remaking it himself, but just wanted um, Tom Savini to direct it. So it's still like George Romero's film, essentially. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, all of those are excellent. JMR said, where are you from? England. Sorry, I'm not taking the piss there. It's just I get asked it a lot, and there's a lot of trying to um, people sort of, yeah. Southern England, mate. So I just realised it sounds like I'm taking a piss, doesn't it? Um, oh, nice one. You're from Albania, but live in Greece. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, yeah. Southern England, I come from. Good to have you on. We get quite a lot of people from all over the world on here. There's Americans, um, all over Britain, Canada. That's uh, just a thought. Would young female zombies join the ghoul guides? There you go. He's treating us tonight, Zed. <laughs> yes, nice one. Told you. See, a good joke, and it actually fits into the context of the conversation. Uh, James said, Machete kills an hobo with a shotgun. Messed yeah, I like them. Yeah, Machete, Machete's good. It's quite a sort of mad film, but yeah, I quite enjoy those. Rob Rodriguez, he does some good um, sort of action films. Matt said, The Boat, 2018 low-budget film, but a guy finds a yacht that is possessed. Yeah, that's pretty much what Mary's about, but it was too much jump scary. And it had a family on it. I'll have to check that one out now. That sounds quite good. Is it, is it good? If you can't, are you, Arkatub? Some For some reason, I always thought you were from America. That's all right, Jack. You're too late now. I think he was just saying where he was from. That's all right. I made you time him out. 
or did you think he was doing the old sort of doxing bit? I don't. I think he was saying himself. It's all good. It, you know, there's nothing to be done now anyway, and it's not an issue. Um, yeah, the boat. I'll check that out. I've never seen that one. I've been, I've been trying to watch more films again recently. Um, what's the other one I got? Um, no, nah, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate you doing that, Dad, because if if that was, that's a, that's a good thing. But it, it wasn't. I mean, he was saying that's where he's from. Um, Architab, you're, you're back in about five minutes. That was tactical, just trying to protect me. Um, yeah. yeah. I'll check that out. What was I going to say? Um, I've been trying to watch more films lately, and I've been watching quite a few. I've got something called, no, no spoilers if you've seen it, Daniel Isn't Real, I think it's called. Fucking the shiny head. Look, I've got plenty of hair. It's just a fucking light bulb. <laughs> I can't see in the fucking dark. There you go. That's what they are. This is, Jamie, this is Jamie's fault. Now you just get to look at that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Stacey's here. Yeah, thought it was quite good. It was either Netflix or Prime. I'll, I'll definitely check that out. Zed said, Did you watch I Bought a Vampire Motorcycle? Yes, and I really liked it, Zed. Yeah, I didn't think I would like it because I don't really like Neil Morrissey. Um, yeah, I thought that fucking film was excellent. Yeah, really good. And it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, well, sort of, I didn't think it was going to be as sort of jokey and over the top as it was. I've, you know what I mean? But yeah, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, really good. James said, what are the two rifles in the background? Why not? I mean, plastic airsoft or all metal replicas. I mean, uh, what ones do you mean? What? Hang on. Background. By that, I mean plastic airsoft or all metal replicas or SA-80. That's a... That's, uh, M4, isn't it, I think, which is a um, BB gun, BB gun Spaz 12, Diak, 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 Diak. Where am I? <laughs> That's a mighty bit scary in the dark. Jay Martin, I'm 17, but I've stopped school because of making money from illegal street racing. Nice. How much are you making, mate? Jim Tar, Jesus Christ, I forgot all about Vampire mo Motorcycle as a blast in the past. Yeah, I'd never seen it, Jim. And, um, yeah, when Zed recommended me, I thought, oh, I don't know. I've seen these weird sort of um, bloody bizarre horrors. Because a lot of them aren't supposed to be funny. Was that's a proper horror comedy, which is excellent. But there are these weird bloody ones that aren't actually supposed to be funny. That was, and I loved it, yeah. Good over-the-top comedy. Neil Morrissey was funny in it. Uh, Michael Elphick was in it for a bit one, you know, I think. <laughs> James, I don't know if I can blame me for the shiny solar panel. It's a light. I've got plenty of hair. Every time I do that, it looks like you can see my... And also, you've got to remember, it's only about that long. <laughs> I've got no fucking uh, issues with my hair. Quiet again. Is everyone liking the stream? Don't get, get your merchandise in. Rob said, What do you think about Charles Play films? For me, they were okay at first, but at the end, seemed to go a bit dark. I like, yeah, as in the series as it went on. I like the overall series, but yeah, the only real, like the first one and the second one are really good. The, the first one, if you watch it in the context of what it is, which is a murder in... Just imagine it's, it's a murderer trying to kill a child. And if you take the perspective of the child and think how horrendous that would be, some fucking thing trying to kill you and no one believes you, it's actually quite horrible. Um, yeah, I like to really badly get into my films. Yeah, and I could imagine... You imagine being like eight 
and something's actually trying to kill you, no one believes you. You know, that'd be horrible. Um, yeah, and if you look at it that way, it's quite horrendous things happening to that kid. Yeah, you know, I, I like the, I do like all the child's play films, but they they do go a bit mad as they go along, don't they? Yeah, Taxi Driver, excellent film. Liam said back, sadly, too much low cloud cover to come. Ain't it annoying? I'll have a look later with myself anyway. Matt said you don't you don't beat Hellraiser one and two. Uh yeah, three was so so exactly. Hello, Saheed the Muslim. You're right. What did I join in on? Just just general chat talking about films. It's North, North, yeah, Northish, yeah. Jamie said, Mike, you need to get yourself a metal bladed Freddy Krueger glove. I always wanted one of them. Never, I was going to make one once. One day, one day. I could probably make one. Nothing violent at all. Sahid. What's violent? Talking about films. Uh, weapon and stuff said so of course that was the only place tonight where the low clouds were um, good could see really far south oh, that's a shame isn't it yeah I'll have a look yeah nice one Dad. I'll have a look later myself just to see um, north for me is that way Yeah, read, read the night bot that just came up, if anyone's new, just so you get a lay of the land of these chats. But anyone's welcome. And, then, you know, have a fun chat with us. There's nothing violent going on. <laughs> Even if I am holding their knives, you know, don't mean silent. Yeah, I'll have a look myself later, but, yeah, cheers for letting us know, Liam. Oh, no, so I'll have a look at that in a bit. All right, I'll stay on till... I probably might do a 12 o'clock, we'll see. I won't be going off any time yet. Yeah, let's have a quick look at Liam's pictures. I can't share them with you, though. What was this, Liam, with the, um, yeah, with your United Vision stuff on? Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, nice one, Gretchen. I often do that on Liam's streams. I'm, I'm nearly always there. I very, very rarely miss one of his streams. I've probably seen, like, 90% of his streams since the day he started them. But, um... Yeah. But yeah, I often um I'm there and looking at the chat, but I don't um don't always comment. Call me an ambulance, says King of Neckbeards. There's no fucking beard on my neck, mate. <laughs> uh, just that's just a, a, a knob trying to troll Saeed who <laughs> doesn't even know what a neck beard is. Libertarian safe space, because well, I don't talk about politics. Nah, it's all good, Archetype, in all honesty. You know, I don't know.
Or was you saying you're the king of neckbeards? Call me an ambulance. Maybe that's what it was. He's gone now, anyway. Um, Racing said, that's pretty shitty, Liam. It's um, pretty fucking annoying that no matter how no light pollution, from how well you can do the stars, it's cloudy. You just won't see anything. Yeah, that's a shame. Because we're quite, um, what are you drinking? That was just water. We're quite lucky where we are. Where, where I am, there's not a lot of light pollution in the evening. So you can see the stars at least. Because sadly, some places you can never see them. Um, my brother, who doesn't live that far from me, he said he can't ever see them because he's closer to the town. He says he hasn't seen stars for years. Because I was on about the comment to him today. He said, I wouldn't have no chance seeing it where I am. But yeah, you never know. I might see it. Name said, oh, well, we'll keep trying for the next week or so. Gretchen said, I had two friends who hiked a big uh, in a big park in Texas, specifically for a low light pollution, yeah, for the lowest light pollution in the US, so you can see the galaxy. on the clear yeah, That would be beautiful. I love that kind of stuff, Gretchen. Rob said, what are you drinking tomorrow? I'm on lager tonight. I can only do one night per week now. Too old for a weekend. Same here, Rob, in all honesty. I'll do one weekend every two weeks about sometimes i do once a week but i drink vodka and water now and i will drink a whole bottle if i've got one there. but yeah i'll drink a whole 70 cl bottle in the night so quite a lot vodka and water i may have a bit of orange juice just to treat myself <laughs> yeah vegas water i forgot about that Gresson. yes we call it vegas water around here <laughs> nice one Gresson. Uh, but when they went, it was cloudy every night. So it just saw normal. So that's a shame. Yeah, cause that'd be, I love all that kind of stuff. Jim said, cloud to the north here too. And no wind for once. I can't see it shifting. Friend said, yeah, must be the low light pollution. Where well, you are, Mike. Having such a great view. That is awesome. Liam said, in Norway, when we went to the most northern port, port part in Europe, it was too foggy and cloudy to see the midnight sun. Yeah, it's fucking typical, isn't it? Snat said, what's your dream car? I'm not massively into cars, Snatch, but I do like, I've always liked Mustangs, the old American Mustangs, the old ones, like 70s, 60s, 70s, I think, old Mustangs. And I would maybe like, uh, you know, Stuntman Mike from Death Proof, his car, but the hood, or, the hood ornament would be a knuckle duster. And I'd have a picture of a knuckle duster either on the bonnet, the hood, or on the roof. There you go. I don't know what that car is. James said, good night, everyone. Really enjoyed the chat tonight. Really recommend getting a weapon at the T-shirt. It's been emotional, guys. Nice one. Cheers, mate. There you go. I don't know the price, but they're available. And mugs. Good night, James. See you later, mate. What country am I from? England, Saeed. So that's a very nice choice. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what the stuntman Mike car is, but it's an old, it's an old car. It's an old sort of American muscle car. As I say, I'm not massively into my um, cars, so I don't know them really. You know what I mean? So they'd like the Frankenstein car from Death Race 2000. Nice. <laughs> yeah, like get the tables. That's so. Yeah, good night, Jamie. See you later, mate. Yeah, I don't know what the Frankenstein car from Death Race 2000 is. Matt, so take it easy, Mike. I'm going to hunker down to sleep. See you next time. But I'll definitely sort out for the stuff next time, as long as I don't get a unexpected um, things to do, Matt. So, good night, Matt. Stacey's still on or she gone off? But see you later, mate. Yeah, good having you on. I'll definitely do that because I want to do it anyway. It's just, yeah, I didn't have a chance today. Weird, weird day today. Good night, Matt. Rob said, do you know when the next live stream will be? Um, well, I did ask everyone, but no one replied. Um, I could do, if people wanted to, an early stream tomorrow, like a six till seven o'clock stream. But I can't do an evening one. So if I don't do one in the day tomorrow, it will be next Friday, as long as nothing comes up. 
James had the Mustang out of Steve McQueen film Bullet. No pun intended. I've done a limited edition version of the new one. Nice. Yeah, that's the kind of old Mustangs I like. Jim said, any car from Mad Matt. It's fucking awesome machines. One day I'll do that <laughs> to my dinosaur Volvo. Yeah, that'd be excellent. Yeah, I've seen your old Volvo. Rob said, late is better for me. Yeah, because I'm going out. Um, or, well, I might just be in the garden, but I won't be at a stream. Um, yeah, it's either an early one or next um, next week. All right, Liam, I'll, I'll, I'll have a think tomorrow because I may have stuff to do. But I could, if people wanted to, do one tomorrow at about six till seven or six till eight. Probably six till, six till half seven because I've got to, I'll be out of there by eight. There's a you haven't seen Death Race 2000, you should give it a watch. You might like it. Yeah, I've never got around to watching it. I, I know it's like a cult film and that. Yeah, I've never watched it. You're off, Smiley. Good night, mate. Epi lad, epic man. Is that Indian Joker? <laughs> no. I'm going to have to look up Indian Joker now. If you think I look like that, I don't know what... For fuck's sake. Yes, I look just like um, Indian Joker, don't I? Thank you, Nin. Sorry, Nin, if I never said hello, by the way. You've been on for a while, haven't you? I went, yeah. Yeah, hello, by the way. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, I should have some more. I'll have, you know, I upload quite regularly. Liam said um, it has Mr. Mr. Die. Yeah, Mr. Die Hard in Death Race 2000. Snatch said, how about Snatch Land Rover? Lol. I think that would suit you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So I said that survival knife was wicked. Yeah, I'll give you one last look. <laughs> yeah, the sheaf should finish it off nicely, I think. <laughs> now, David Carradine and his Oscar Angle Wanks. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I've never seen um, Death Race 2000. Never got round to it. You know what, Rob? Quite a, lot, quite a lot of people say I should make some of the stuff to sell. I might do it. What I might try and do, I might try and find a, a really decent but cheap blade blank that's easy to get regularly and try and try and make a nice simple, like something I can make quickly. Um, but yeah, that could still sell potentially. Toxic, you all right, mate? Liam said, Jason Statham remake is okay, but nothing to do with the original. You know what? I've actually seen a little bit of the remake, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I'd bother mentioning it because I knew it wouldn't be. You know, it's not the original one everyone's talking about. Now, thank you, Smiley. Yeah, I've done that before. That the reason I did that, I've done it before with a catapult. You know, Archetypes of Death Races, Mare Hollywood film, Cannibal Run. Seen that years ago. Liam said the original. That's some sort of post-apocalyptic wacky races is brilliant. I bet you haven't watched Master and Commander yet either. No, I've had it on my hard drive for fucking ages as well, Dad. At least a year, probably. Oh, yeah. I've seen a bit of the remake. It's all good. So, what, the original's good, the remake's crap, which I imagined it would be anyway. Rob said, I'll try to make two special order ones. Items would be great. Yeah, nice one. It's all, I'll tell you what though, these are so much, I'll tell you what this would make really nice as well. Right. I'm going to ask you what kind of knife this would suit perfectly. Look at that guard. Look at the shape of that guard. What do you think I could make this into really nicely? Imagine a nice straight handle. But look at that guard. And then look at that nice straight blade. You you not may not have the same thought I did. No, not not okay, but you might it might not come to you lot, but you're you're actually that's quite a similar guard to that. But yeah, I was looking at this in a certain angle, and I looked at that guard, 
And I looked at the straight handle and I thought, you know what? Put a fucking tanto tip on that and that would make a lovely tanto. It's even got the right kind of guard. And have a nice straight tanto, you know, handle. Yeah, I reckon that would make a lovely tanto. Slightly bellies out. But yeah, I think that would make a nice tanto, personally. But you're, you're, you're saying K-bars, though, yeah. I can see that as well. The Fog, Smiley, is one of my favourite films. Yeah, I love it. Liam said, the original is about a cross-country US death match. Cross-country US death match. A weird cars running over old people. I was, yeah, is it that then? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Stacey. Glad you like it. Yeah, I've done that today. But I reckon that would look lovely with a tanto point on it. So coming down slightly, square that off. Yeah, I think that would look nice. <laughs> Ron says he's going through K. I'll tell you what, though, Ron. I might have to do a... I might get another one of these and try and make a K bar. Um, if this blaze is the right shape, I might try and make my own like, homemade K bar. So he said it's 3.37 in Pakistan. Work nights, I'm eating a plate of eggs on a lunch break. Nice. Good for you, mate. As well as I prefer that in a Tanto style. That's still good, though. Yeah, I think a Tanto on that would look lovely. Sorry, I was just trying to decide whether to um actually no, I'll give him a second chance. Jamie said uh would need to have a blood groove along the blade to resemble a K bar. Oh yeah, that, that would be difficult. But I could do that with her um I have got a I've I found the Dremel in the shed and I have seen people put a a fuller in these with a um with a Dremel. So I could give that a go. Not sure, Rob. I don't like to. I don't like to say the price is too, too much without working out how much they would cost for everything. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. It wouldn't be a lot though. Put it this way: it'd be cheaper than you could buy something like that anywhere else. Um. Yeah. I'm not one of these, I'm not like these people who, you know, make a fucking knife and they want to sell it for 200 quid or something, when there's probably not that much work in, in it, really. Some of the stuff, put it this way, some of the stuff, it sells, some of these things sell for that price, but as I know how to make these things, I know there's not that much labour in them. But people are prepared to buy you know, kind of things. But yeah, it, I I can't say, but it because I don't want to sort of commit myself. It wouldn't be a lot. It'd probably be the cheapest place you could buy something like that. Yeah, exactly, Rob. Yeah, as long as it's worth my time to make it. But yeah, I I um as I say, I'll look in uh, if I can get some of the um. Yeah, blood goo is a fuller, and that's why I made sure I called it a fuller because I know it's a fuller. Um, yeah, don't like the old tanto snaps. I'll do both. I'll do a tanto, and this is this is a new. This might be a new thing to um buy. Start getting these and start turning them into tantos, k bars, other um, you know, other sort of famous knives, so you can make. Make your own cheap K bar. Make your own cheap um, Tanto. Cold steel Tanto. Shit like that. I've got air rifles. I talked to Yeah, I've got some there and under here. A nice one, Snatch. Yeah, I'll look into that then. I can't promise it, but yeah, sometime down the line, I could do that. A nice one, smile. Yeah, it works good, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Smiles. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's just some of them. He said, "Can you get blanks in different sizes?" You can, but um, well, when I say, "Hang on," I keep getting distracted seeing comments. Um, what was I saying? You can get different blanks. Not all of them have the tangs I like. Though some of them have like stick tangs and shit. But yeah, you can get loads of different ones. But some of them are more expensive. Some of them sold out all the time. Jamie says you totally need to upgrade to Dremel. I might get a cordless version if battery lasts on them. Yeah, I found I found where it was now. Tactics, I see Black Death is back in Mongolia and Squirrel has it in the US. 2020. You need to keep on giving. Yeah, insane year. Well, it's all good, Mike. I like the tanto idea. Uh cheap K bar. You're gonna make me go. This yeah, I mean inexpensive. I don't mean cheap. <laughs> I used the wrong word. I mean inexpensive homemade K bar, not cheap. <laughs> Quite often, uh, mix those words around. I've got a BSA Lightning Sahid, I've got a Webley Stingray Deluxe, they're my two good ones. I've got a BSA Mercury, I've got an ASI Paratrooper from the 70s, and a couple of other really old air rifles. Stacey said, Look, You've probably already talked about this, but have you watched Falls in Fire? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's all right, tactical. Don't worry about off-topic stuff. That was all good. Um, no, I don't mind. Nothing's nothing's on topic anyway, is it? Yeah, I do like 45. I do quite often watch that. Stacey, yeah, good. Snap said, how about a straight razor? Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of them. Oh, so he was saying what air rifle? What are air rifles or what air rifles? Yeah, pellet guns. Why so many people? Because I'm a weapon collector. Uh, and that's not my nipples either. They're over here. Oh. Rob said, are cheaper jungle machetes any good? Could you mod them for us to purchase? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, they're all right. I've I've done mods on them, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, they're um they're really good for modern and making things. This is a modified machete. Look at this fucker. This is a modified machete. Look at this. Yeah, I'm always doing mod modding machetes into things. Machete bowies. That there, see that there. That's a that was a machete. Now it's a bow knife. Um. James said, "Do you need FAC license to own twelve foot air rifle from the UK?" No, they no, don't need anything for um. Don't need any licenses for air rifles in, in England. Capture that knife on right there. That is lovely, though, isn't it? Yeah, I must admit. I even I really lacquered the handle the other day as well, just to finish that off. It was ever so slightly sticky before the stuff wasn't drying properly. So I lacquered that last yesterday. Oh, it's beautiful now. Yeah. Machete mods, yeah, that's like really good for these kind of things. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. The sheath's homemade as well. Beauty, really, isn't it? A nice big, I think that guard sets it off nicely as well. Nice big brass guard. That bloke who sells that brass, though, is still on fucking holiday because I wanted to buy some more. So I would have probably used that brass to make a bigger guard for this, but in this, this guard on this was perfect anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that was pure coincidence that this looks like that. That, that was brand new. Brand new leather, but it just, um, yeah, it seemed to sort of cover like that. It's like the ununiform, but it makes it look better in a way. I'll show you another modded machete if you want. This was a machete.
You won't get a machete like that many places. So it's essentially a cutlass. So you could be a pirate now. So we can't swim. <laughs> Yeah, it looks nice, don't it, Smiley? Yeah. Yeah, I'm always buying machetes. I, I would buy machetes every bloody week to mod if I could get them. Because they're cheap as well. Some of these machetes are like bloody um, seven quid. Seven pound for that blade. That's that bit of metal. It's reasonably light, but it's quite big. Because it was a, um, because of the size of it. It's light for what it is. But, yeah. Not that light, but light for what it is, if that makes sense. Tat said, no, wrong with parks. No, no, I like parks. Rob said, uh, just getting better and better. I said, look at the size of that hand guard. Is that one heavy? It's not too bad, because of it being aluminium guard, aluminium guard. You know, the machetes are reasonably thin, but they're still good for this kind of stuff. Well, you'd only be sort of chopping with this anyway. You know, you've got, you've got to remember, a machete will chop things. Um, but, yeah, you can get a thicker one. This is another one you can do. And the original machete from this... Is actually bigger than this originally. So I could make one of those out of one of these. But if you look how thick that is, that was a machete that's that thick. That was a 20. This thing was originally longer than the whole thing. Uh, where am I? <laughs> shopping. Do shopping with it. Just, I must say, you're getting a bit good at modding things and doing no blade blanks. Cheers, Dad. I'll tell you what, I've really enjoyed doing it. Jim said on no other channel when you see a cutlass with a handguard made of a distal foot plate. <laughs> you're a great one. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, the thing works perfectly there, don't it? Look at it. Gives that lovely post-apocalyptic look as well, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, do your shopping. <laughs> but yeah, I want to get hold of more of these because these are beasts. Of, like, If you want something that could potentially stab, because the problem with the thin machete ones, they could potentially bend. But they're good enough for chopping. That is what they're made for. But if you want something that could potentially stab... You want these Anglo Arms Bolo machetes. It's just the last time I tried to buy one, they sent me the wrong thing. Happened to cost the same amount, and it was something I wanted anyway. Um, but yeah, sent me the wrong bloody thing. So they said, I'm off now. Good night. Be on next week to hear the road roller story. Definitely, Stacey. Good night. Cheers for coming on. Yeah, see you next time, Stacey. I don't see you in the day tomorrow. It'll be, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll do a daytime stream or not, but yeah. Cheers, Stacey. Good night. Comrade Autism said, what's your sharpest weapon? All right, see that machete just there? Probably that. But I, I purposely sharpen that so it's sharp as fuck for um, bottle cutting. But most of my stuff, I don't really do dangerously sharp knives. This, this one's pretty sharp. Um, yeah, this one's pretty sharp, but I don't go over the top because a lot of them don't really get used, so they don't need to be that sharp. Rob said, dude, um, you well want to get some standard ones and have weapon collector engraved and etched. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, buying. I'll tell you what, I do stamp all my stuff now, though. I've started stamp. You won't be able to see this, but I've started stamping these knives now with my um, 
I don't know if you, might, you can't really see it very well, but that's WC20. So I used to stamp my other stuff. So I started stamping all these now. So they do actually have, you know, Maker's Mark. But for a while, I wasn't stamping these. This one needs doing somewhere. That's only for a lot as well. You know, I'm doing them. Ron said, got to do a pineapple grip. Like the early M9 bayonet. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I said, have you thought about doing any more etching? What, like I did on the, on that? Uh, it doesn't come out very well, in all honesty. But if I could find a better way to do it, I would. Good night, Snatch. Yeah, I'm off in... I'll be off at 12. I've done... That's nearly three hours I've done. Um, I've been enjoying it lately. I, I enjoy the streams anyway, but um, I used to do three hours every Friday and Saturday, and then it started to get too much. Um, but, you know, at the minute, there's nothing for anyone to do, is there? So... Why not? Keeps me occupied. Keeps you not occupied. Yeah, they have a good laugh, though, aren't they? It's just a clearing up afterwards. Does my head in. Yeah. Modding machetes into, into knives is, um, yeah, really good way to get a nice, decent, hardened bit of steel already, as long as you don't overheat it. Um, and the blade blanks are good as well, I think. Because you don't have to do them exactly like they are. But like I could put a clip point on there if I wanted to, or a nice swedge, or, you know, make it like a bowie knife. You can change the blade to your... Because the thing is, it just skips the forging process, because I could make a blade like that, um, you know, in that shape, or in, in the shape I want, but this just saves doing that bit. James, I like how you put the landed hole on the end of the machete knife. Those are a pommel, glass breaker, or whatever you call it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are handy. Yeah, this one's got a landed hole and a like a um, looks like a pry bar. Just thought I'd add an extra tool. I'm looking forward to getting that bloody lever for one, so it's not so fucking dangerous. Just sitting about. To keep try to remember where it is, don't sit on the fucking thing. <clears throat> Back, are you, Liam? Nice. What, was you out again, or stepping out my window? Quickly, your voice is up there. Where that was, then. Weird. Well, I could hear. I thought I could hear my brother, but don't look like anyone's out there. Tap and said, "Put a V in it and a nail puller." One more talk. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like the pry bars I used to do. They used to have all that kind of stuff in nail pullers and pry bars, and yeah, that's that's quite a good idea. Um, that's what I didn't think of that. Rob said she'd do a bottle opener on the end. Yeah. Well, my pry bars used to have a screwdriver, gutting hook slash uh, seat belt cutter, and a bottle opener and tin opener on the other side. Because the problem is bottle openers aren't that useful, not in the UK. Most of the shit you open with a bottle opener is booze, and you can open that with a knife anyway. But tin opener, I think, is very useful. But you can make your own tin opener reasonably easy. <laughs> Fuck me, Charles are out tonight. James, I don't even need to look out the window. CCTV, CCTV everywhere. Well, I have, but it's not pointing at our Wendy ass. But, um, yeah, I don't know what them fucking voices were. Put this away and I'll fucking find the fucking thing. 
We'll get out of the way of the table. Well, that's what it sort of is. It's supposed to be like a pry bar. Actually, that end would double as a screwdriver. Look at that close up. That's what it essentially is. It's like, because you haven't watched the video yet, have you? You'll see it. It's essentially like a big, a great big flathead screwdriver. Yeah. I hope everyone's been liking the stream. Yeah, so I might do. I'm going to be off in any minute soon. Thank you, Steve. Um, I'll be off anytime soon. I might do a daytime stream tomorrow, but I don't know. A lot of people didn't really seem interested. Um, Rob said, what would you suggest for my next purchase? Jungle machete or cookery? I would say cookery, and I bet most people would say cookery as well. Yeah, good night, Gretchen. Good having you on. Good having everyone on. It's been a good night tonight. Even the fucking freak show trolls just made everything slightly better. But yeah, most people would say... Um, Cookeries. I would say if you haven't got either of them to cookery. Right, I'm off. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been a good night. Um, I might see you tomorrow then. If not, I'll see you next week. All right. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And, Jen, and the people who joined the Patreon, thank you. Uh, Ron, thank you a lot. Lucky now. Yeah. Um, and um, Stacy as well. Thank you. I don't think she's on now. But yeah. Those two went on the Patreon. They bumped up to 87. Um, 87. Um, Oh, I was dead did that. I hope I didn't let them show again. Uh yeah, all right. Good night, everyone. I'll see you. See you soon. Before I go off, was James was no, I think that's an accident, wasn't it? So I'll unhide James quickly before I go. Unhide. He was trying to get rid of the other bloke, wouldn't you? Right. Let's go. See you later. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>